Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, both on the concourse and also live um, on Facebook, YouTube, and also Trots Vision. Darren McCauley, hello. We've got all bases covered, haven't we? We, ha we have indeed. Fantastic. We've, uh, hello, and nice to be back in Victoria. Imported from WA again. It's, um, it's a regular occurrence. It's great to have you. Yeah, we had a phenomenon over there yesterday. It rained <laughs> for about the first time in six months. So that was terrific. And we've come over to the cooler climes of Victoria for this very important weekend of, of selling, of course, so significant with those uh, breeders and, and the consigners of what is, I think, a terrific cattle. So, and having been down the barns and had a good look at some of the drafts, I think there's as nice a type of horse down there that I've ever seen, um, particularly from a couple of drafts. They'll be, no doubt, very optimistic. Absolutely, and mm. there's some beautiful horses of all types. Colts, fillies, trotters, paces. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's mm. exciting. Um, there's some vendors here that are um, really, I suppose, push their point out that they're here to sell um, as well. We want to make sure we get those points across um, as we go as well. So we, we want to make sure that, you know, that they're here to sell. They're not, they're not here to take them home. They want to sell them. They want these horses to find a new home. Um, you watch the race like the Tab Trot last night. Yeah. The excitement level around those. There's 69 trotters on offer um, here at this sale. It's just, yeah, mm. super, super exciting. Yeah, wonderful night in Cambridge last night too, wasn't, wasn't it? it? They tell me the crowd was just phenomenal. and All you could see was heads. They had yeah. a blocked off camera and all you could see was heads. It Absolutely was just Absolutely extraordinary so, uh, night too. And um, a big night, of course, for Barry Purden as well down yeah. there too. Outstanding. Had three in the field. Mm. Great to see him win it too. Yep. And I love that horse Merlin. Or it's Merlin, unfortunately. Wish they could change it. I'd try mm. and get that Well, changed. there's a pedigree here that is certainly going to Got attract a it? lot of interest because of Merlin. Rightio, we're ready to go now with the parade. It's lot number, uh, the first lot to come through, lot number 162. Darren is the first horse in here. This is a Pastor Stephen Philly out of um, Yankee Princess. Uh, very great pedigree on this family. Yeah, it's an exceptional trotting Philly's family, that is for sure, Cambo, and uh, a good sized, well built Philly too. And out of that good winner producer, Yankee Princess, as you've touched upon there, from a winning half-sister there, the Super Race Mare, and something about Maori, a family that we we're all very, very familiar with, of course. A, a filly that's uh, bred to run quite clearly. The quality of the winners there in each of those pedigrees on the page, of which there are only two, of course. The Dam's already produced the Victoria Derby runner-up in Prince of Rock and the 11-time winning filly in Princess uh, Frith. So uh, with those just two generations on the page it really does speak volumes for the family yep absolutely that mm. is lot 162 lot 163 for allison and lee miles is going to be the captain treacherous filly out of you ask alley um very exciting young horse this horse here as well lot number 163 yeah one of only four i think for memory uh, captain t fillies that will present right through this catalogue and what a great filly sire of course He's turning into with Millwood Nike and Tough Tilly, just to name a couple of them, though. And this is a regally bred filly from a half sister to the Victoria Oaks winner in Miss Graceland and the uh, top two year old filly of her time in Nostra Beach. She was the Australian two year old filly of the year. And uh, the pedigree, of course, goes down there to Carla's Pixel there in that second generation. Uh, you could race and no doubt breed with a filly who's bred this particular way. She's a beautiful bodied filly as well that's been presented by um, Alison Miles and given the best start in life too. There's a, a filly that early on in the sale is going to attract a lot of interest, I'm sure, with that pedigree. Yeah, Xena, Xena Rainbow, um, now the winner at three races. Um, got some very smart times next to its name too. A couple of, she's got a 55-1 as her best, but a 54 and also a 155-8 as well going there. And then Capitalism, the horse that was sold last year for the nutrient sale, has been named. Um, so that's the third foal out of that family. That's Lot Wonder 163. That is the You Ask Alley um, by Captain Treacherous. Sorry, I'll get in trouble for saying it back to front there. Lot 164, this is a pass to Stephen Philly. This horse here is out of zipping around for David Scott. Yeah, again, another top-class Group 1 trotting family there, as you can see, a half-sister to last season's winning two-year-old in Billy Zippin, and uh, out of a half-sister to the classic winning filly in Elusive Charm, um, who's become an absolute Group 1 producing gem. Um, three Redwood Classic winners, all from the one family on the page. And again, that just absolutely underlines the the ability of the family to go to the races and, and win good quality races as well. So uh, prepared up by our good friends at Alder Baron, of course, uh, Melinda and Danny Thackeray and 
Uh, there's a good bodied style of a filly there too. She's got a, a reasonably early foaling date. Beautifully presented, that's for sure. Lot 165. Here we have the first of the Colts for the sale. This is by Art Major out of a few dollars more. We might be asking for a few dollars more from a few people tomorrow, but um, yeah, beautiful Colt, well turned out. Yeah, lovely, lovely Colt indeed too. Um, and of course by the uh, the millionaire sire, he, he just gets outstanding horses. What an athletic style of an individual this Colt is. He's got that great winning cross, numerous $100,000 stake earners have been bred the very, very same way, of course, an art major there. And he's a really athletic, angular style of a, a cult. You, you can sometimes get the art majors a bit on the smaller side, but he is a real athlete, this fellow, and from the family of Village Driller as well. But geez, uh, as an individual, you don't find too many better types. No, absolutely. I think we're going with lot 167. We are here now. This is the next one. This is another of the art majors, another cult. This is out of the brilliant family in Aleppo, My Mia. Um, of course, Art Major himself, 1,968 individual winners. So I'll hand back to you, Maka. Yeah, it's a cult that possesses the magic cross that's uh, produced, of course, last year's uh, Derby winner and last night's winner, Merlin. Yep. This is the cross. Um, Barry Purden, Scotty Phelan, of course, enjoying a magnificent run at the moment um, and w with Merlin. And, and here is a... Here is a cult by Art Major and out of a better's delight mare, just the first foal. It's that same wonderful Victorian family of the um, Derby winner here in Queensland, of course, in Menon Gate, who we still remember so very, very well. And out of a mare who's a half or a three-quarter sister to four big men and other big men as well. Grand Dam, great Grand Dam have produced winners, but I'm sure that uh, those aficionados of, of pedigree just love the fact that it's an Art Major out of a better's mare. And, weren't uh, they just up and about last night in Cambridge because of that reason? Everywhere. Like, I mean, you, you mentioned 1,968 individual winners. It's just uh, an amazing record. He's, he won $2.2 million himself in stakes. And um, thank you very much to Stace Towers for helping us out, doing another lap. She's got a few laps to cut today, so it won't hurt. She'll, she'll put the uh, miles into, into, the, into the pins as she's going around. Absolutely. We, Given we, the best start, of course, in its career as well there in the care of Stace uh, to prepare up as so well. The only brilliantissimi to be offered up here is lot number 168. This is the filly out of Aldebaran Eliza. Yeah, strongly built filly. This, uh, the only filly by Ready Cash's Group 1 superstar son in brilliantissimi. And uh, as you can see here, the half-brother to this filly, the father, Patrick Culp, is now qualified. In fact, ran fourth on debut. At Bendigo. Yeah, yeah in a heat of the Nutrient Classic Wednesday night. So... That's an important update there. Uh, only the second foal from the mare. Uh, a three-quarter sister to the Australasian Breeders' Crown Place filly and Aldebaran Vera. And uh, it's a family there that features Allegro Agitato as well. Good deep girth, nice shouldered, strong hindquartered style of a filly there. And um, I think they're pretty hopeful too that uh, the stock of Brillantissimi are going to fire. Um, Oh, absolutely, and, and you're talking about Sky Valley and that in that same family. It's just a, it's a lovely family. Absolutely. Sure. Uh, Lower Long Farms, the next one here, we have lot number 169. This is a past Stephen Philly out of All Finesse. We don't have to say too much about All Finesse. I'll let you have your uh, coffee. Of course, the dam of Claudie's Princess, the winner of $400,000 in stakes. This mare has had seven foals, six to race, four winners. It's just a prolific family. Yeah, it really is too. Uh, Half-sister to Mick Blackmore's Claudie's Princess. Five group ones, 22 victories there. You've said it all. We'll look absolutely stunning in that sail ring there tomorrow by Pastor Stephen, of course. Gets a nice early foaling date as well. Uh, plenty of good winners through the family and importantly there too, uh, she's a cracking type of a filly that uh, fits up with that pedigree too. And it's a good draft too that uh, Kath brings here once again to Oaklands Junction in 2024. Yeah, we they had, do a great um, job, the team there from... Uh, down there at um, Lower Long, yep. and um, this is just a case in point. No, nah, absolutely. That is lot number 169, the Pastor Stephen, out of all finesse, as we have lot number 170. The uh, first of the Always Be Mickeys to be offered up here, of course, Always Be Mickeys had 185 individual winners. We just might get, just um, might just stop for one sec. We'll just let this horse uh, get out of the ring. We're just having a little bit of trouble with the last one. Uh, this, of course, is a cult um, and what a job always be Mickey's been doing um, going through there. We've just got to get um, 
Just for the people watching, on, we're just waiting for the last one. Didn't want to walk through the tunnel. Uh, wanted but to have a fine. look. He yeah, wanted, wanted, wanted to have a look, exactly. He uh, hadn't finished with us at this stage. Now, this is a rig, by the way. Yes, this, very, very uh, important this update. This individual though. here, lot 170. Please note that uh, this will be offered as a rig. Uh, the always be Mickey. And out of a five-time winning daughter of Better's Delight, too, in all in flight there. And the update here to this family, folks, is the fact that at a girl, the Captain Crunch Philly, ran third at... Melton last night for the Jamisons. So yes, that's and an went terrific. Important update indeed. Wonderful Kiwi family. Uh, quality style of horse too. There he is. There's a bit of class there. And from a winning sister or half sister to four winners, the winners of $1.2 million and 127 races. You can Thank see you. them all there. Thank you very and, much, uh, Cal. That's she, a uh, great Kiwi family. Yeah, Cal was working, uh, working that one out as we were going along. We've now yep. got lot number 172 we're going to. Um, this is the always be Mickey Elder Elta Calypso. This is a cult. Uh, what a great mare she was herself, and um, what a great family it is. Yeah, good to have Dean and Blanche with us too from uh, Rhiannon once again. And uh, this uh, always be Mickey Colt out of a good winner producer there. Look at that Millie Perez, Seb's Choice, Changing Co., the Dam of Pat's Beach, Storm as well. You go down to Five Star Anvil, Let's Elope. Uh, I, I looked at this horse a little earlier today there too, and the one observation that I did make was the fact that it was foaled down in mid-December. You could just see the the shape of this horse here. There's still a fair bit of growing to be done. So it's a bit of a blank canvas. You've got a structure. Yep. You've got the framework there. Yep. This is just going to grow into a very, very nice type of horse in another two or three months' time. You can see it all there. So I think the speculators could be all over lot 172 there tomorrow with that great family. Yep, absolutely. Blanche is just doing another another horse here. This is beautifully bred filly here. We're just waiting on the next one to come up for us. But this is, uh, of course, um, Millie Perez was you know, $335,000 in stake. Seb's Choice, great horse as well. Um, and then you go down to that uh, Belmore Hanover family down there. And it is still winning too um, over there in New Zealand. So it's got a tie both here in Australia and in New Zealand. Blanche is another lady that probably doesn't need to cut out a couple of extra laps. She'll, she'll be cutting a few out by the time she gets here. She's changed the uniform up this year too. We've gone for the black number, um, but it has been noticed. I think it might now, match I'd, the I'd cast. Like a dollar. I'd like a dollar for every lap that Blanche has done since <laughs> she first started leading horse. Oh, and we go right, right back to the Osco days yep. at the showgrounds when Blanche first started. She loves it. I would hate to think how many times I'd like a dollar for every time she's led one in and how many laps she's done around these rings. Right, yeah, the first of the ride highs yeah. to be offered up here. And, of course, any of the ride highs, as well as most of these horses, you'll be able to see the Vic Bear Pure eligibility. This horse is, is a pure horse. Uh, this is out of this is a gelding out of the... A mare that's just done a magical job, and it's a West Australian. You're going to know a couple of these, always lacking. Yeah, look, a well-grown gelding too, isn't it? Alabar's ride high there, and yep. expectations are extremely high, of course. The first of his crop uh, to go through the sale ring. Outstanding son of Art Major. And he's a really, really nice type. There are half brother to five winners, including Space Junk and without the without that ta. The ta, yep. the two who has won over three hundred thousand dollars. And the the dam has been really good in the breeding barn. Out of the six that she's produced, five have saluted the judge. That's a really tall, well grown, long, lengthy style of a Cop gelding. Oh, gelding. Yeah. Beautifully turned out. The gelding part is not an issue, that's for sure. No, of course, absolutely. With, well, that just saves a bit of money at the end of the day, doesn't it? With, uh, w without the tut, of course, um, won't race over in WA in your, your neck, of, neck of the woods. That is uh, a little secret there that you may not have been able to pick up. Lot 174, of course, this horse is by What the Hill, and this um, parade has been brought to us by Woodlands. This uh, horse was presented up by Elder Baron Park. This one um, is a filly, and it is out of Always Treasurer, a... Um, Three, three racing, two winners uh, family. Yeah, well, what the hell, of course, last season's leading New Zealand sire of three-year-olds, the uh, the sire of the um, New Zealand three-year-old trotting colt of the year in Love Me Too. And uh, again, you've got a you know lovely, well-structured filly there too. She's nicely grown out of always treasure by the mighty son Don. Um, family of last year's New Zealand derby winning filly and... Mel Sedell, the family of the Inter-Dominion star in Fraggle Rock also. Yep. So you know what you're going to get out of the pedigree there. They have got the capacity to really produce some high-quality winners and uh, by what the hill is doing a terrific job. Another trotter into the ring here, Macker. This is lot 175. This is the Majestic Sun out of Aleppo Midas. What a family this is. This is a half-brother to Alpha Male. What a brilliant horse he was. Yeah, look at that pedigree too. It's uh, a Majestic Sun 
the, the mighty majestic sun out of a, a very good uh, sun Don Mir and Aleppo Midas, of course. Uh, bred on the exact same magical cross as Sun D's son. This cult here himself, a brother to the dual group one winner in Alpha Male. Uh, the Inter Dominion performer in Timothy Red as well, and that family of Aleppo Sunrise. So, again, by Majestic Sun, who uh, needs no introduction to anyone, he is just a super sire. Yep, um, Stacey's going to go out. We're going to have a we're going to have a microphone change as well as we go along here. I think um, Maka out, Barton in. I think is the official terminology. But um, well done to Stace there. That was uh, there. We've got lot 176 is now in here. This is the first of the elite strides as Mark Barton joins me. Amare Spur Colt. This horse, of course, comes from the Pink Galars, the Mari family, Bardo. Yeah, it's a family that needs no introduction to anyone in the sport. But uh, as you can see, there a wonderful draft there for the Pengras. Yes, again. Um, elite stride, of course, um, doing a wonderful job. You're seeing a, a good representation here uh, over the weekend. And as you can see, there's updates on the catalogue there too. Rebel stroke now at 174,000 as you go down through that um, that Maori family on the third, la third line. Yeah, no, uh, it's a great family and um, great to see Neville Pangrazio cutting out some laps. I think this is his second time round and um, great to see him being supporting as they are our yearling parade elite strides. Of course, eligible for that $12,000 pure bonus. Um, Lot 177 is the next horse to come in. This is a filly by Art Major out of Amaretto Bromac. This uh, mare's had six foals, five to race, four winners, all inside two minutes. You're all inside two minutes, and OB Legal's now an update two now with 15 wins and $120,000 in earnings now too. So it's um, 13 times we've got a there's 13 times we've, that uh, that cross has produced 100,000 or more. Um, Glen Ferry Shuffle being one of those, Lilac Stride, for example, too. So it's a proven cross. Uh, go back through Arts Place, Falcon Sealster. You've got a, a, a proven family there. And again, same family as that Soho Serpentine, uh, Seraphine, rather, that's up to $200,000 in earnings. Yep, and um, XL Stride out of that family. Um, and very, very well turned out, that's for sure. This is lot number 177, the Art Major Bay Philly, out of the Falcon Sealster Mare in Amaretto Bromac. Next horse to come into the uh, to the ring will be the first offered up for uh, Ben Studd. It, it's good to see Craig Judds here. Apparently he might have had a, a night on the um, pool table last night, but it's good to see him here. This is lot 178, the Better's Delight filly out of Amelia Rose. Yeah, great family here too, mate. If you uh, you look down through the page again, you've got uh, the Better's Delight mare, but back through Art Major, Falcon Sealster again, Amelia Rose, a, a, a very competitive racehorse in her own right. Of course, winning 140,000 on the track. That second dam uh, is also a, a proven um, winner with uh, four of the races, four to win. Uh, you've got Fury Dan's now an update with 66,000, and it's also the same family as um, the King of Hearts, too, Paulie. So um, it uh, goes back through a family, and he'll have a race again next week, I reckon. So back on the track next week, and it's uh, it's the same crosses leap to fame. So proven families again. Yeah, no, it's, um, as you said, they're the same family as uh, King of Hearts, a horse that you know a little bit about, Mark. That is uh, that is for sure. He will race next week too, he, Paul. He will. You promised that one. So lot number 179 is the next one to come into the ring. This is the Lenny the Shark out of Angel of Music. We talked about this the other day. Just uh, in a preview, I said we went out to... Uh, Went out to Dunroman to have a look at the horses, and this uh, this fella just um, has a look at me go about him too. He's a uh, Lenny the Shark, of course, a wonderful racehorse. Uh, he's, a, he's a double cross of Abercrombie, as you can see there, out of Angel of Music. Uh, dam of um, four to the race, it's three to win, and cheers, big ears, and you go down through. Angel of Rock has now had um, uh, seven starts there, is now on the track, the, the Yankee rock star uh, progeny. But again, a, a Vic Bread and a Vic Bread Platinum there too. Yeah, and out of that cha the champion family, that Black Watch family, and here's a real look at this horse. Um, he's one we want people to be able to have a good look at, and, and from there is we're just going to do one more lap. We're um, going to try and do a... Um, no, it's gone. We're fine now. So, yeah, we... Um, sorry about the clicking we might have had there that might have been annoying a few people, but we've actually got that. So this is lot 179. Uh, great to see Jane Hearn um, and that here, again, represented here in the uh, nutrient sale mark. Yeah, and while we are wandering around there, just again, thank you to uh, Woodlands that present um, the, uh, the all the parades right throughout the eastern states, all our sales. So thank you again to the team of Woodlands uh, for their kind um, support of our, uh, our pre-sale parades all across the, uh, the sale programs. Yep, absolutely. Lot number 180 is now in the parade ring. This is the Father Patrick out of Annie's last cult. Uh, cult. Yes, it is a cult. Um, Father Patrick's had 88 individual winners here in Australia and New Zealand. Just does a brilliant job, the son of Cantab Hall. 
Yeah, again, you've got a proven family there again. Uh, you've got one of the races, one to win for this uh, this particular mare. Only uh, uh, as you go down through that uh, that family again, the Maori family there again, and as you can see, their family there, Maori's Glory, of course, went through to be uh, Australian Trotter of the Year. And uh, you've got a Rebel Stroke, an update there now to 174,000 with a um, uh, with a second there in the McPherson's Memorial at Group Two. So just uh, the other day. Yep, and. Um yeah, a lot going on there, but uh, well done to Staffordshire Park and Neville Pangrazio. He's been busy this morning, Nev, that is for sure. Lot 181 is the next one in here again for Ben Stud Standardbreds. This is the Captain Treacherous filly out of Angel of Arts, of course, related to Rockstar and also Beach Shack, this filly, Mark. Mate, you know, right across this year, we haven't seen too many opportunities to get yourself a, a, a Captain Treacherous filly. Here's a, a great one here again. Uh, again, I just love the way this filly gets across the ground. She's got a lovely, lovely swagger to her. A wonderful family, like you say, that um, beat Shaq. But again, Shaq out the backs now, an update two uh, as a winner as well. Uh, and Tracer Bullet now cracked $100,000, the Mac 3, out of the same family. But a wonderful family, Angel of Arts. Of course, a $100,000 winner herself. And was also group play. So you've got a wonderful um, pedigree, but I'm going to say a real swagger to this filly, really like her. Yep, and um, the Captain Treacherous fillies, we talk in cipher, $1.6 million in stakes in Australia, that's for sure. Lot 182 is uh, Better's Delight Colt out of Arden, New Butte. Uh, this horse is a three quarter to uh, Better Strike, the winner of $800,000 in stakes. Yeah, he's nearly 900 actually, yeah, nearly $900,000. Arden's Choice, Rock and Roll Arden. But again, you've got a great cross there, Better's Delight, out of a uh, Sweet Lou in the pocket mare. So again, really uh, well presented as far as the, uh, the pedigree is concerned. But again, when you've got something that's proven like Better Strike, uh, the mare's a winner too. She's up, uh, Winter Rose has now had 10 winners. And as you can see, they're serious winners and um, a great group family. Yeah, and beautifully turned out. Um, Colton's got a lot of look at me about him. A little bit of Sweet Lou look about him in there in, in the way that he's presented. Um, and he's got Sweet Lou in that second dam. You can see the blaze and the feet. He really looks that way, doesn't he? Yeah, don't forget this horse is also New Zealand size stakes paid up too. Yes. Uh, Yep, that is, that's correct. Uh, the next horse to come into the ring is going to be the lot 183. This is the Art Major filly out of Ark Munro. And, of course, a ma really major important update there with Dangerous winning the Mildura Cup out of the same family, Mike. Yeah, Dangerous is now a sweet little course. Has had seven wins, $118,000. D-Row, as you go down that page as well, the Art Major. Uh, Cold has also now had uh, wins and, uh, and gets up, up over $40,000 with wins in, uh, since we went to print with the catalogue. It's the same cross as the uh, New Zealand uh, two-year-old two, uh, two fillies, New Zealand size stakes winner only for you. So 20 times you've had $100,000 or more on that cross at Art Major out of a uh, presidential ball. Well, that's an amazing, amazing number, isn't it? It really, uh, yeah, what'd you say, 20, 20 times? 20 times they, they, that, that cross has gone on to produce $100,000 or more on the track. Lot number 184 now in here. This is again for Alibar. Uh, this is the Always Be Mickey out of Art Critique. This is a filly. She, the mayor has had two foals for the race for two winners. Yeah, and we talked about um, Mickey. I reckon we'll see the uh, the Queensland entry in the uh, finals next Saturday night at Melton for the new uh, the Nutrient Sale Series and Always Be Mickey. So they're g getting up and they're doing as young horses. Uh, they're good, great cross here again. Always Be Mickey. Cross back through Arts Major and back through and in the pocket on the bottom side. Uh, an update there too. Now Secret Wish has now gone 156 there and has had now four wins. And Friends Always, the filly by Always Be Mickey. So the full, uh, full sister has now been named as well. Yeah, and you've got Amore Vita back in that family as well, which is a champion mare. That's lot 184. Lot 185 for Ben Stud Sandabreds is our next horse. This is the Rock and Roll Heaven out of Art Start. I'm not going to steal your funder, Mark. I'll let you go with the rest. <laughs> I think anyone that's here would know he's expensive ego's full brother. So I don't think he needs any introduction. He's sitting at $992,307 now. <laughs> so he's he's one, uh, one step from being a million-dollar racehorse. He's your chance to own the full brother. Again, have a look at the way he gets across the ground. He's got a lovely swagger to him, a lovely type. And I know his father, full brother, has gone 148 and 6. But I know when we talked to him, the Ben Stud team said, look, we've kept going for the cross. We'd love to get ourselves a filly uh, to keep in the brood and his. But um, he's a cult that will be for sale. And like I say, uh, he's got a million-dollar brother and I reckon a really likely type. Yep. Uh, uh, 
ro rock and roll heaven has had um, just shy of 600 individual winners in Australia and New Zealand too. Of course, headed up by Expensive Ego as one of his flagship horses. He's done a fair job. He has done a, he has done a very, very good job. The Lather Up, this is the first Lather Up. Of course, Woodlands are s proud sponsors of this parade and Lather Up standing in conjunction with Lower Long Farms. This horse is out of artistic pleasure, out of that kept for pleasure family, Mark. Yeah, I'm going to say the kept for pleasure, uh, again, a wonderful group family, but uh, you only have to mention a few names. Vincent, Mike McKenzie, Keep Rockin', Better Be Kept, Kept in Play, Don Boston, who's now an update. He's $391,000 since we went to print. But um, again, you've got one of the most consistent for our families there, that kept for pleasure family. Uh, they've now had a winner. Mickey's Pleasure is now a winner since we went to print. The uh, they always be Mickey Philly. So you've got Lather Up, Art Major safely kept, a really nice pedigree. 30 individual winners in his first season in the US, Lather Up. So uh, he's got a couple that have hit the racetrack in New Zealand and um, this is their first year being two-year-olds being able to, to race, of course, a grandson of Better's Delight. Um, that is lot 186, the Lather Up Philly out of Artistic Pleasure. Um, I'm going to go... 187. 187, the Art Major out of um, Alish uh, Whitby, sorry, uh, uh, just making this horse here a half to the Lost Storm. Um, again, yeah. another filly here, one's going to want to look at, Mark. And I'm going to say, you, you look at the, uh, the the Lost Storm, of course, the Captain Treacherous is now up to 12 wins, 336,000, with a um, that uh, that four-year-old won the City of Melbourne play, the Group 3 winner. Uh, our Storm Girl, uh, the uh, the American Ideal filly out of the same mare, is now a winner too in 2024. And as you go down there, very current family, a lot of updates on your page in that pedigree. Uh, Vic Red Platinum as well, being paid up for Bathurst, but again, a really lovely cross there, a double, cr a double cross of Arts Place. Yeah, and um, a beautifully turned out filly, lovely walking. She caught your eye as you're watching her, especially when she walked over the other side there. I think even more important, you don't look at the page, you have a look at that filly, go and get her out. Yep. If you haven't seen her, mate, take the time, you'll, uh, you will be impressed. Lot 188, this is the first of the classic connections to walk through our parade here today. Of course, the son of Love You. This is out of Elder Baron AM. Um, he's a cult. Uh, she's by Sundon. That's out of the I Can Do's It family. A lot of brilliant trotting names in this family. But again, another beautifully turned out horse. I, I'm going to say again, don't look at your page until you've had a look at this uh, this horse in the ring. You've got a uh, you've got that bling, but you've got again a lovely swagger, a, a really, really likely uh, racy type there. And again, when you get back onto the page, you've got that consistency of that fa those families there. As you can see there again, Kai Valley Hotspur is now up to 200 odd thousand. Uh, with win uh, again at going around at Car Cobram, that uh, that Derby Royal Trotter, uh, that again has been. And Elder Baron actually stepped out at Bendigo the other day as well. So we had that as well. So he had his first start at Bendigo the other night uh, in the Nutrient Classic races. That's lot 188. That's the classic connection out at Elder Baron AM. Lot 189. This is um, one of two bold eagles in the sale. This is out of Aspiring Eva making this horse a half to Valentino, the horse that uh, took out the Nutrient Classic last year for two-year-olds. I tell you what, we said about the uh, the Bold Eagles, there's a very rare chance to get yourself onto one, but again, here's an absolute uh, standout filly, lovely, lovely type. As you can see there, it's a um, it's one of it, it's the only filly you'll be able to get your hands on, I reckon, here this, this weekend. And as you go back through that, Valentino, of course, is a, a current there with over $100,000 on the track, but again, more important than what's on the page. First of all, have a look at the uh, that filly in the ring. She is a standout filly there for mine. A wonderful pedigree there to boot. And again, you've got that, uh, the aspiring Eva there, as you can see the dam. Bold Eagle himself, $7 million in stakes. 47 wins. He's a son of ready cash. Ticks a lot of boxes. Um, yeah, he's great, great sire, great racehorse, great sire. And in, that is lot 189. So the, uh, the Bold Eagle at Aspiring Eva. I think one of the great things about this parade, tomorrow for the sale, they'll walk through there because they go straight in through the sale ring and out, but it just does get a bit scary for them for the first the first bit. Doing it easy, exactly Lot right. Lot 190. This is a betting to line out of Beach Baby Nikki, a Sun Beach somewhere mare herself, Mark. Yeah, some beach somewhere, as you can see, go back through Grin from ear to ear on the bottom side there of the dam. But a betting line, as you can see, that um, this is the first foal, and it, again, done a really lovely job with this filly. Uh, you see the second dam, Nickel Miss, again, the Grin from ear, ear to ear. A uh, proven producer, four to the races, four of one. And you go down through that page there, that well said Nuggets and update. Joang is also the better than Cheddar, is now a winner as well. Majestic is also an updated too. So you've got a, a very current page with a lot of updates on the page. And betting line, the sire of 187 winners 
in Australia and New Zealand. Headed up, I reckon, at the minute by not as promised the Trotter, but he's done a, an awesome job. As we we have a change here, was um, Dane's coming in to uh, step in for, for Mark. We'll let Dane get himself organised, but um, we're going to have lot 191. This is the first of the Soho Tribeca's, and we speak about pure... Uh, Vic Bread Pure, this horse of course is eligible for that $12,000 first win bonus. This is out of Beach Box, the mare's only had one foal to race and that foal has been able to win. Dane, welcome and uh, lovely colt to start off with. Thanks Paul, yeah lovely colt to start on here, um, obviously uh, presents very well and they've uh, done a wonderful job here but there's there's money right through the pedigree here, uh, the same cross here as, so as Soho Tribeca's only winner to date. Obviously the first uh, crop of two-year-olds and uh, same cross as Soho, the real deal, which finished fourth in the 2024 Gold Crown. And uh, yeah, a really well, well presented cult there. Dams, Dams halves uh, here to Majestic Emperor with 18 wins. Queen of Fire, so some, a, a good page and a, a really uh, good structured, well presented cult. And of course, Soho Tribeca had his first uh, winner at Bathurst. Soho, the real deal, a really exciting horse, that's for sure. Um, we now have the first of the Durham Park horses um, to be offered up for the sale. This is lot 192. This is a daughter of Be Better's Delight um, out of Beach Garden. Um, the first foal herself, she went 152 and 9. Yeah, she won 11 and uh, over 135,000 the dam here in Beach Garden and uh, joined the Better's and a, a, a really lovely bay filly here. Uh, same cross as a two-year-old uh, to Vic Red Platinum Horse Homegrown Classic winning filly in Joe and Joe. So uh, bred right there, second dam, Garden Gate, Tina won 15. Went on to breed uh, five winners, Major Major, Tina Cools. So a, a really good family and a, a really striking, lovely feminine uh, Bay uh, filly by Betters here from uh, Durham Park. Beautiful, sensible, turned out well too. That's his uh, lot 192, the Betters Delight uh, Beach Garden filly for Durham Park. Lot 193 will be our next one um, to come into the program for uh, Blank Bull. Another of the Soho Tribeca's, as I said, $12,000 first win bonus for this horse as well. This is how to bring her back. Um, she's a, a nice producing mare herself, of course, related to Sophie's Ideal, the winner of 150000 in stakes. Oh, yeah, that's right. At, you know, there's winning as two-year-olds down the page. We've got an update here, Sophie's Scooter. Half to this lot has had three two-year-old wins in 2024, so really important to, to check those updates there. Half to stand by me, Slick Sophie, and uh, Sophie's ideal there. So they're winning and winning as two-year-olds and a, a really nice, well-presented cult there from Rhiannon Park by Soho Tribeca. Yep, he is, and um, as Blanche does, turns them all out a treat. Uh, Sophie's Ideal, I said there before, the daughter of American Ideal. Soho Tribeca being by American Ideal, so this is actually a three-quarter in blood. Uh, to there and Blanche has um, got a little bit of noise happening but that's okay the, the little fellas are enjoying themselves here, here today next horse in here this is called this horse has actually been named Springfield River we've got lot number 195 this is a colt by Captain Crunch out of Belis Belisario this, making this horse here a three quarter in blood to Captain Belisario yeah uh, Captain Belisario nine wins and uh, check your updates there again 156,000 in earnings another half Rio Rocks 111 now updates again at over 65,000 out of a betters uh, betters bred mare here in Belisario a lovely cult really upstanding correct cult he presented very well halves are winning and winning well here you know, there's 240,000 in progeny earnings. Same cross as Captain Crunch's best USA two-year-old winner in gem quality. So a, a really uh, a, a strapping young lad and well worth a look. The Beautiful goal, goal, isn't he? Yeah, he'll be getting out of the box a fair bit. I reckon that's lot number 195. We'll call him Springfield River. We won't worry about his maternal side. He'll be fine. Lot 196. This is um, the better's delight Colt out of Ben Injured. Um, what a prolific producing mare she's been. Super mare. Breeder of multiple champions and Group 1 winners here. 2021 Australian Broodmare of the Year, the dam, of course. Five winners, tough Tilly. Won over 600,000. Centenario, 332,000. Check your updates. Some Dan is over 216,000. Lightning Dan. Look down through the page here. Same crosses, Leap to Fame, Max Delight, Major Delight. Uh, New Zealand Sire Stakes eligible and... Just a, a great page and a, a really a, a, a stunning, a stunning betters cult there. Turned out a treat by uh, the team at Ben Sutter, I must say, as well. Beautifully walked by Mark, too. So he, uh, he's one of the better walkers, I must say, Mark, is there. He enjoys it when I give him a little bit of cheek from time to time. And uh, 
We um, have to do that. This next one in is 197. This is a Vincent. Again, another $12,000 first win bonus horse out of Besoke. This is a, a Colt. This is a second foal out of Besoke. A better's delight mare. Yeah, better's mare herself, the dam. <coughs> What a family here. The second dam, Taylor made Lombo. She won almost 50 races. Australian two-year-old fill of the year, $1.3 million. Australian pacing mare of the year twice. Brood mare of the year. Went on to breed halves of this dam. And Aussie made Lombo. Soho Interceptor. Soho Moonraker. Same cross as uh, two New Zealand kindergarten stakes winner in Vesem. So uh, a really lovely Vincent Colton. A, a, a great family and a great page here. I think Vessam ran another place last night at Cambridge as well, so a pretty important update there for that horse there. That's lot 197, the Vincent Colt out of Bespoke. We uh, have got the um, little bit of a form update for this horse coming into the ring here now. This is lot 198. This is the Stay Hungry out of Better Down Under. This is a Colt, and a uh, nice little update just the other night for this horse. Yeah, nice little update here with a, a uh, half in Better Sweet Victory. Uh, having a, uh, a win in, uh, in 24. Yep, uh, and so also, also Miss, Australia, uh, Miss Australiana um, won beautifully um, a Heat of the Nutrient Classic on Thursday night at, um, at Ballarat. It was super, super impressive um, taking out uh, the uh, last of the heats there. So really big, important update with this family. Great family. Um, the mayor's had two foals now, two to race, two to win. Traces back to that trebler, trebler family. But this is lot number... 198. This is a stay hungry at a better down under. As I said, big update there with Miss Australiana taking out a heat of the Nutrient Equine Classic. Next one to come in is the first for Gary Graham and Gersten Graham. This is lot 199. This is the first of the capped midnights, a 158 six horse himself out of Bonton Lady. She's had 13 foals, 12 to race. Nine of those are one, Dane. Nine winners. Here's a cult we, uh, Philly, sorry, we had a look at earlier and just a really stunning type and a, a beautiful filly. Nine winning halves to this lot. She's a really, really stunning article here. Lovely barrel, great confirmation here. And, uh, you know, a half stroke of luck, 117 and over 250,000. She was raced uh, by Mark Purden there. Also, New South Wales and Vic Red eligible. So I think a filly that ticks a lot of boxes, uh, both on the page and in the flesh. Lovely travelling, lovely natured filly. Yep, that is um, lot number 199. Good to see Kirsten and Gary here. I think Kirsten's going to parade them all, so I won't give her any cheek until the last one, but they do have the last lot in the sale, so that's 199 though. The capped midnight out of Bonton Lady, a filly. Harass to Trotters and Yabby Dam Farms are great supporters of the Nutrient Classic and the Nutrient Sales. This is lot number 200. This is the first of the Quaker Jets to walk through. Not Quaker, Quaker Jets to walk through out of uh, the ready cash mare herself in Boudamont. Um, this is a lovely filly. It's a great proven cross worldwide. The love you over the ready cash line, Dane. Uh, very, uh, very much so, Paul. Good page here. Uh, second dam, uh, the uh, uh, Vincennes there on the page. 119, 266,000. Maydan, show me the cash. Maori's Glory down there, Australian Trot of the Year. So a good family and a really good proven cross here. And a, uh, a really lovely, uh, lovely filly, well put together and uh, lovely nature and, uh, and swagger about her. Yeah, and uh, we're going to do another lap. It's great to have Harassa Trotters, of course. They have had a big couple of days. They had Call Me the Breeze run second um, to the other horse that they actually bred uh, last night. His name's just left me. Seriously, how good am I going? <laughs> just believe. Um, so they've had plenty on. We're just waiting for the next horse to come through. Uh, so it's uh, well done, though. But, of course, that love you, Cross. Uh, Quaker Jet has had 38 individual winners here in Australia and New Zealand already as well. So we know a lot about that family uh, going on there. The next horse to come in here is lot number 204, Dane. This is the What the Hill filly. Out of Chevron Action, of course, What the Hill, um, Woodland Studs, uh, Stan, What the Hill, and um, sponsor this parade. So well done to those guys, but a great family. This is a New Zealand family. Full New Zealand pedigree here, if that's what you're after. But, you know, a, a good a good solid family. Second dam bred, all, all, all Royal Gal, uh, 172,000 in an earn. Action Cosmos there, right down there, a uh, all action sun, all sun and solar active, sunny action. So... So a, a really well-producing family and a, a, a really nice, uh, a nice flashy type of filly. Carries herself nicely. 
Yeah, it does. And it's great to have, it's actually great to have Aldermaron Park um, here. We're going to get this horse to do another lap. We've just got a little bit of a, uh, a couple reluctant to go up. So Mel, Mel likes a camera. If I put the microphone in front of us, she'd be even, even happier. But Mel's going to do another lap for us. Um, uh, there. Anyone who likes their pedigrees and likes their crosses too, you want to have a look at this because uh, Majestic Sun and uh, What the Hill, very, very close. It makes a unique little pedigree uh, cross, if you like, in there. And uh, when you look at it, it's because they're... Um, I can't get my page. Give me a look at your page. That'll help me. Uh, Majestic, what the hell being by uh, Muscle Hill out of uh, KT Charchar, and then you have Majestic Sun out of that same family. So you have the Angus Hall Celtic Countess cross, and it just it's really a, a really nice cross there. Uh, that is lot number 204, the What the Hill out of Chevron action. Great to have Dave Scott here as well. So uh, thank you very much for those. Now, we're skipping through a couple or we're going back. I'm not sure which way we're going. We're going back, I've just been told by Blanche. So we're going to go back to 201. This is the Captain Crunch out of Bye Bye Barbie. This is a first foal. I'll let you get yourself going there. Of course, Captain Crunch has had 33 individual winners in the US and four Australian winners already, and four Australian and New Zealand winners already, headed up, I suppose, by Kimo winning in uh, Bathurst just recently. Yeah, a, uh, a lovely colt worth, worth the wait. A big upstanding colt here uh, out of Bye Bye Barbie. Uh, second to Ambred, Sophie's Ideal, who, who won 16, uh, went on to breed three winners, including a checker updates here, Sophie Scooter, a uh, treacherous uh, filly there that's had three two-year-old wins uh, this year. So there's red all over the page here, and a, a, a really, uh, really free-moving, lovely natured uh, colt here by Captain Crunch. Well worth a look. He is, he is indeed, and as I said, he's doing a great job. Ukraine, Kima, uh, all the likes. The white tail, a little bit of white bling because he's close related to Sweet Lou. So that's where a lot of that white comes through. Um, he might have been the one that was holding us up at the back end. No, he's going to walk through like a gentleman. He's just, uh, he's just a little bit reluctant to have a, have a look at it um, going on there. Grano's got a different job today. He's um, outside. He didn't want to work with me. I mean, he's defected to uh, the, uh, the to the green team. Lot 202, the first of the better's wishes. This is out of Caperio. This is a filly um, in here. This is, of course, Caperio is a daughter of Sunbeach somewhere. This is her first fold. Or, sorry, a one fold race for one winner. Yeah, had a winner in uh, Bella Danza there who won uh, in 23, almost 20,000 there, as you can see. Second dam, uh, bred some winners there in Skyfall Benchmark, who's won four. Sir Brigadoon has now had eight wins. Check your updates there again. And it gets interesting down the page uh, for the third dam, Art Major. So a really good page. Uh, the side there in Art Major, 32 wins, $3.2 million in earnings. And a, a really striking uh, uh, Bay filly there with plenty of bling. Uh, yeah, that, that is easy. Of course, it goes back to Art Major, Perfect Art, and Rock and Roll World, all in that family as well. So we have got now lot number 206 in the um, in the parade. This is a Pastor Stephen Philly. This is out of Claudie's Queen. Pastor Stephen's oldest progeny are two-year-olds, as we've had a change. As Macca comes back to join me, this is a filly. Uh, this is a third foal, won the race, one winner. Um, she's a monarchy mare herself, and what a beautifully turned out horse, Macca. Certainly uh, quite a strapping style of a filly there. Another of the Pastor Stevens there, this being from, of course, his second Australian crop, but we mentioned that Claudie's Princess family a little earlier on. Certainly been a very good winner-producing family, and this filly here from a half-sister to the dam of the, that five-time Group 1 winning filly. Of yep, course, recognised as the Australian trotting filly of the year, too, and uh, also a mayor of the year. So she did it in successive years. Quality uh, performer, Claudie's Princess, so very closely related to this filly by Pastor Stephen. No, nope. the next one in here is lot number 207. This is a majestic sun at a cloud chaser. Great to see Russell and Pauline Thompson here a little bit earlier. 517 individual winners for majestic sun, headed up by Sunday Sun. This horse here is a half to cruising around. Great family here, Maka. There's no guesswork really when it comes to let uh, the horse parade and you'll know shut up. You reckon? Absolutely. It's the best way to do you it. Just isn't let it? them go through and uh, have a look at them. Half brother to a dual group one winning three-year-old in cruising around. Uh, Brett Lilly's quality three-year-old Australian horse of the year, three-year-old of the year. Stakes win of $300,000, win of the Breeders' Crown, of course. The dam's been a really good producer in the breeding barn. Had seven present 
on race night conditions and six have saluted the judge. You can't ask for much more than that. No. And that's just a really well put together. That's a race horse in the making. Congratulations, Albert Davies, on turning mm. that horse out in the manner that he has. It's just terrific the way that he's uh, been able to turn that horse out there. This next lot is 208. Again, ride high, eligible for that $12,000. First win, Vic Bread Pure. Bonus. This is out of Come Dance With Me. 12 wins herself and $110,000. That's on the Broodmare side, Macca. I'll tell you what. He's a really bold, striding, powerful-looking colt, this fellow, the first of the ride high as the Breeders' Crown winning son of Art Major. And one of the things from what we can gather from the breakers is that they are educating so well. They're yeah, Brett, breaking Brett said that really, a really times, well. Yes. And yep. uh, that gives, I think, great encouragement to the trainers, the buyers, of course, when they do acquire them. But this is a lovely style of a colt there. The Dam 112 went 54 and 4. The Grand Dam is a half-sister to a Hunter Cup winner in surprise package. And of course, the update in that family is that Ideal Denny, as you can see in the third Dam, won at Bathurst in 54 and 9 Wednesday night. And 24 hours later at Penrith, Denny Rocks got the job done as well. Absolutely. He looks like an art major, that horse, too. Of course, been a son with Ride High. Um, Wingate Farm, lot number 209. This is the American Ideal out of Crown Defender. This horse has got a three by three cross to three diamonds for the pedigree watchers out there. Very, very important cross, that for sure. Yeah, always good to have Jake and his team here uh, do a super job with their their draft every time, of course, the ill-fated American ideal gone, but will never be forgotten. Of course, his legacy continues on. One of only four colts by American ideal that will be presented in this catalogue. And what a super quality looking colt he is too. The pedigree is just loaded up at every level with quality colts, as you can see there. He's a half-brother to the All-Stars New Zealand Cup winner and millionaire in um, Cruz Bromac. Uh, the gold bullion place district attorney as well. And the dam was been an exceptional producing half sister to Attorney General. So you, you can't ask much more than that. You can see there, very high up there, and he's rump there. He's still got a fair bit of growing to do. He's going to really develop into an imposing style he's, of a horse, he isn't he? He's a tall horse, isn't he? He's, he's, he's a, got yeah. a structure. Yeah, you've got a lot to work with. The framework with is all there. Of course, it's just we had the running of the Grins last night, and copy yep. that was last year's winner. Um, of course, mm -hmm. by American Ideal Champion Sire. 868 individual winners for American Ideal, um, and they keep getting stronger, unfortunately, now, though, ill fated. But. Uh, Amazingly turned out horse there, that's for sure. Lot tell you what, he's going to grow into a magnificent horse in the next six months. You're going to see one heck of an individual. I thought Jake didn't like the camera. He's happy to keep going around all day the way Jake's going. Maybe he wants to walk off a couple of kilos. Well, I'm not sure which way I, he wants I, to I go. I think Jake likes be. the look of himself on the camera. <laughs> it might, might, be, might be that as well. If they're going to stay in the ring, they've got to be ready to cop it a little bit. He's got this, an opinion of himself. This is lot number 212. This is the Art Major Colt out of um, Dancing Diamonds. This is a full... A full, I will say, here to Champion Mayor, our Princess Tiffany. You right, Maga? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Boy, oh boy. Uh, this would be one of the 212 we're looking at. Yes. This yep. has got to be one of the best pedigrees in the catalogue. Yep. She's I had six miles, six two, winners. Yeah, you wouldn't find too many that would argue. And, of course, this is the cult that's bred on the same cross as Merlin. Yes. Exactly the same, of course, um, the million-dollar um, race by Grins last night where the Purdens, of course, got the job done. Full brother to the mighty millionaire Kiwi filly out, Princess Tiffany. She won eight group ones. Um, and uh, I think the first colt out of our Princess Tiffany went to Mark Jones off for $260,000. Yes. That's the reputation. That's the regard they hold of the family, which is just absolute blue chip. Lot 213, and if Grant can hear me, we'll give this horse another lap because we've got to try and give them all the same sort of time on the audio. But um, this is the first of the Down by the Seaside, the winner of 84 individual winners, Australia and New Zealand. Out of Dazed and Confused, the Mayor has had eight foals, six to race, six winners, including Roll with that 132,000 in stakes. Yeah, I don't think Roll with it's uh, with us anymore, unfortunately, or faded. But, gee, it was a very, very promising horse uh, from this three-year-old goal winner and dam of no less than six to race, six winners. Uh, down by the seaside, another very, very good young siring son of some beach somewhere. Yep, no, it's okay. We um, uh, That is, of course, lot number 213, the down by the seaside, out of dazed and confused. Lot 210. 210 is now in the ring. This is a rock and roll heaven out of Crystal Stride. Um, of course, rock and roll heaven, the sire of Wolf Stride. Uh, Lilac Stride and Wolf Stride are in the same family with Crystal Stride. This is the first file out of her. Yeah, same as Cyrus last year's New Zealand Cup winner Swayze. Uh, bred on that same cross as the Kiwi uh, Group 1 star and let it ride, of course. That's a, a beautiful pedigree. 
And the first file from a winning betters delight filly. Uh, you can see the Grand Dam's done the job, of course. And you mentioned there to Cambo the fact that it's so closely related to Wall Stride. So, yep, there's a lot to like. A, a great bit of stamp about there. that. Cult, and probably sure. uh, would suit a few different markets. I think that particular cult. Oh, I think this, is, this sale has got that. So. Um, we're getting uh, two, like 214. This is now, this is another of the down by the seasides. I said there before, 84 individual winners. Yeah, this is out at De Lovely Rose. Two foals to race, uh, two winners. Um, De Lovely, the winner of $656,000 in stakes herself. Yeah, grandson of the uh, New Zealand and Australian Oaks winner, De Lovely, uh, mighty filly, half sister to the dam of the millionaire Colts. Catch away, the Australian two year old of the year, Miracle Mile winner at four, at 120, went 48 and eight there too. It's a, a name that really does jump off the catalogue page there at you, but uh, a half brother to star of the show, uh, which is also a, a three year old winner itself there and placed at group one level. But uh, that's a nice bodied style of a cult there as well. Well, down by the seaside, it's a lovely rose. That's lot number 200 and 14, 218A. Now, if you've got a catalogue, this won't be in your catalogue. If you're online, you'll be able to see this. This is the Always Be Mickey, the winner of 185 Australian and New Zealand starts out of El Su Shadow. This is a cult um, closely related to Julia's Shadow. Yeah, lovely to have Monique here doing a great job as always uh, with horses that she prepares and presents and brings along on behalf of vendors and uh, this is a, a pretty nicely balanced cult too by always be mickey of course a half brother to a 55 three winner of 13 in julius shadow and uh, the cult there as you can see from a half sister to two sub 52 group three winners um, you just want you know good value for your investment comes to the sale ring there no doubt there'll be quite a few wanting to tap into a horse like this that particular uh, end of the market I'm sure will suit many many and uh, will be a handy acquisition there for some lucky acquirer there but it looks a you know pretty athletic well balanced type of a cult to me. Yeah he does and um, always be Mickey you look at the cult you look at some of the good winners mm. they always be Mickey Cole Chisel yep. I think he got beat last night but the Mickey taker taking the Mickey um, he can do it with both of them he's got a couple of nice two yards we're gonna keep an eye on a couple of races in New Zealand he's got a group one racing on today that we'll have to keep an eye on as well got a very nice filly over there in the Purden camp that's had two starts for two wins goes around in a group one today I think it is so uh, always be Mickey doing an awesome job and great to have Monty Burnett in yep, here absolutely. that is 218 a again if you've got a hard copy that won't be in there but you have got a um, uh, the online catalogue definitely will have it go to nutrientequine.com.au for all of that lot number 220 this is the first of the poster boys uh, what a job he is doing um, here we're going to have a swap over I believe here so poster boy has had now four individual winners um, isn't this horse been led beautifully too I must say uh, I like giving cheek when I can this is a poster boy out of Emily J this is the first file this is out of the architecture family as a winner of six wins but a very very important update with poster boy now the side of four winners but taking out both of the two-year-old classics at Bathurst just the other day as I welcome Mark Barton back at Bathurst you mean uh, Ballarat, Ballarat. Yeah, two, he, two of Ballarat, he also was the winner at uh, Sydney on uh, Tuesday as well for the, the, yes. uh, the Sydney Heat. So three of our four uh, winning uh, Colts did come uh, by poster boy. And, of course, he's got a wonderful pedigree himself, as you can see. This one there, that shadow play safely kept on the bottom side. Going to throw you into a, a curve, but we're going to go back to 215. This is the Captain Crunch out of Digital Art. Of course, Captain Crunch, a winner of 33 winners in, us, in the USA, four here in Australia and New Zealand. This is the first foal, um, no, one foal, sorry, to race one winner. Uh, goes back to that little family that, or family that I know a bit about in New Zealand, our Sandwave, really impressive horse. Yeah, and it's good to see the Crunch is really starting to hit their mark now. I think at Bathurst, um, we saw that goal Tiara was a Kima was a winner of one of the heats there again by, by Crunch. And again... Oh, Crunch has done a great job yeah. um, as we, we give this horse... We're just waiting on the next horse here uh, going there. But Captain Crunch, of course, Ukraine, Kima, winner at Bathurst. I did have Bathurst on the mind. That might have been where it was. Captain P Patrika uh, for his first lot of horses. Of course, Crunch goes back to that same sweet Patrika, which is that sweet Lou family. And then this horse, the winners all the way down through this family, Bodo. It's a, it's a really impressive winner. Ocean Diva, uh, Sandwave. There's a few others down there as well with Wave the Bill, uh, a good New Zealand family. A real racy type, that is. That's lot number 215. The Captain Crunch at a digital art occult offered up by Alabar Farms.
We have now got lot number 222. This is the Pastor Stephen out of Ipano, Phoenix. This is a colt. Uh, first season for Pastor... Well, second season, sorry. They're two-year-olds now. This is out of the RC Phoenix family. And we saw what a great job he did last night, Mark. Yeah, absolutely. And you see, uh, again, there's uh, Huru. Now, the Volstead is, uh, is a gilding that's now been named there on, out on that uh, on that dam as well. But, yeah, Princess Phoenix, as you can see, uh, now 160-odd thousand. But, again, a group-winning family there. Again, you've got a, um, a Vic Bread Platinum there and a uh, Paid up for all of the incentives they need for speed, but again, a really likely type. Yep, and she's Ruby Roos in that family as well, and uh, she went contested the uh, Nutrient Classic last year so so well and uh, did an awesome job, and uh, Elder Baron Park, of course, uh, supporting us here uh, with the sale and uh, done a great job. Mel loves cutting laps out. She'd be happy to know that she's off this lap, though. She's not that keen on the camera, that is uh, for sure. Lot 225, this is the next horse to come into the uh, family, into the parade. This is for Harasta Trotters, great supporters of ours. This is the always ready. So again, 12 win, first win bonus out of Phil Dunsir. Uh, but I was looking at me. I was going to make sure you said that right. That was no, all. I did a bit of work <laughs> with um, Anton on these. You say them as you see them. Philly Dunsir. Um, and this is, of course, out of that Love You family. But what a great horse, always ready was. Uh, Breeders' Crown winner, prolific winner. Really, really great horse. And great to see him now in the sire ring. Again, have a look at the horse in the ring. You've got a, a horse with a lot of get up and go. Lovely type there again, as you can see. The uh, the Volstead gelding now, uh, Comelli, Com 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 has now been uh, named but unraced. But again... Oh, you're I, kidding me. You, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> but again, a really good family, like you say, goes back through that Love You family. Yeah, it does indeed. Yeah, we we'll Love You champion sire in that exact pedigree there. Uh, going through 224 is our next horse again another first win twelve thousand dollar bonus this is a ride high at a five-star rocker um the mayor is um this is a full pleasure family it's a great family yeah again one of the races one to win she's she's a major star is now a winner with seven and a half thousand and up and going and like we said there before full pleasure kept for pleasure the same family as vincent my mckenzie and so it goes on don boss and again a very very uh, strong family top end bottom side and again just great to see the ride highs uh, he's been given access to some of these outstanding mayor families. Yeah, he has and beautifully turned out. Has that art major look about him. Got a bit of spring and step, keeping Cal on their toes, that's for sure. Like, see, got to give a bit of cheek. They get a smile there, so Cal's out. Uh, that is lot number 224 going out. The lot, next one is number 226. This is another of the Rock and Roll Heavens out of Fort Chapel. This is related to Rock and Roll Chapel and Archiva Chapel for Wingate Farm, Mark. Well, it's actually the full, yeah, full brother to Rock and Roll Chapel. Chapel in fact, as you can see, $164,000 winner himself. But again, you've got a really racy type there again. Uh, you've got that cross there back through Better's Delight. And uh, as you can see there is, uh, if you go back through the uh, the family now, Supreme Chapel has now been raced in New Zealander. And uh, you've got... Um, um, you've got a, a wonderful family again, the same cross there as Let It Ride, the millionaire so, um, racehorse there that went, what, 148th? Yeah, um, and a, a really, really good horse, into dominion class horse. Uh, Miracle Mile winner, I think that's when he went to 41.8. That was one of the, far, or 48, sorry. Uh, that was one of the fastest Miracle Miles we've had for a long time. Great horses chasing him home in that. That's lot number 226, the Rock and Roll Heaven, Fort, Forte Chapel Colt. 227 is the next horse in. I think uh, it's the passer, Stephen, out of Fortuna. Phoenix, this is a filly. Um, the 11 win horse, O Fortuna, of course, in this family, and RC Phoenix. Um, and Pastor Stephen's a full to Father Patrick, and what a job he's been able to do. No reason Pastor Stephen won't do the same. No, again, fortunate Phoenix again, as you can see there, has now had two to the race, uh, two to race now, uh, with uh, Prosperous is now the Majestic Suns now being to the races, and bootlegging also, Volstead is now being named, and is also qualified, ready to race, so we've got um, the family are up and going there again, a couple of updates there for your page, and RC Phoenix, of course, down through that uh, that family as well. Ran a terrific fourth last night, like, so it's just a great family, a ready family, and a good family. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, the great trotting family there, great to see Ben Studd, they've got a great draft here, they've got trotters, paces, boys and girls as well. Well, Beautiful like type too, that filling. Isn't she? Yeah, real real look at 227 by Pastor Stephen out of Fortuna Phoenix. Lot 228. This is a Muscle Hill. What an opportunity here to buy a Muscle Hill filly. Muscle Hill is a sire of 596 USA winners and 132 here in Australia. Uh, four walls. It's had one, one to race, one to win. And it's had that something about Mari family that just 
Unbelievable, Bardo. Yeah, well, nothing I want is an update and is now a winner. So she's a producer of, a, of a racehorse winners now herself, four walls. Uh, obviously a group quality mare herself. But as you go down through Central Otago, now an update over 100,000 on the on the track as well. But again, paid up for everything there again. But have a look in there. As you know, Haley turns them out as well as anyone, but a beautiful type there. Lovely mannered filly, uh, uh, filly as well. And like we say, a muscle hill, but a lovely type. Yep, and we're going to do another lap um, here. But, yeah, this is um, turned out with the blue ribbons, I must say. The, the, uh, I like the blue and gold ribbons. They uh, stand right out, that is that is for sure. Uh, Muscle Hill champion, Sire is a sire of sires, of course. Tactical approach coming to stand in Australia at Alabar Farms. Of course, he's a son of what the hill... Uh, sorry, Muscle Hill, what the hill's the son of his. Elite Stride is the son of his as well. So plenty of their, uh, that whole family. That's lot number 228. The Muscle Hill out of four wheels... Four walls, sorry, Philly. 229 is our next horse in uh, Mark. This is the Captain Crunch out of the, uh, uh, the it's a Philly out of four. Zoya half to Hesty, a beautiful horse, Hesty. Unfortunately, no longer with us. St. Cross is Captain Crunch, and like we said, also the St. Cross is that, uh, that Bathurst Gold Tiara Heat winner in Kima. So you've got um, a proven cross there where, as you go with the four star Shark by Crunch. Uh, for Zoe, like you say, was a racehorse winner, and she's had three of the races, and they've all won. So Hesty lost four words, and really, really are all winners. And you've got um, uh, a qualified um, uh, Huntsville, and now in Mr. Evolution, is now qualified at the races. Yeah, um, and beautifully turned out. Great to see Galthorn here. Um, got a great draft. I recommend they go down and have a look at them. There's not a lot of difference between them, but this one does have a white tail. That's lot number 229, the Captain Crunch filly out of four Zoe. They're just getting out of the ring. Just wait till she goes out and um, go from there. The next one in here, this is uh, the second. We've had two of these already. Uh, one fruit, sorry. A better's wish. This is a colt out of Golden Gate, Tina, making this all also half to Beach Garden and Major Major. Um, what a beautifully turned out colt we've got here, Mark. Oh, absolutely, and I tell you what, the better's wish is um, not a not a lot of them being offered for sale this year. But I tell you what, every one of them you see, you want to have a look at. They're a lovely good shoulders, shoulders. Good turf. They're, they're beautifully put together, as you can see out of our uh, Garden Gate Tina. Um, goes back through Western Hanover, so you get a double cross there too, which won't hurt. Uh, Garden Gate Tina, of course, winner of 15 herself. She's now had five to the races and five winners. So Beach Garden, major, major, a wonderful family there again. With um, our, our Chiquita is now the, the treacherous is also a winner of that filly as well. Yeah, and, and good. Good, good little updates there, but all the way through, there's good winners. Let's go back to the American side. Uh, that's what this horse was imported for, to bring to some new bloodlines here. Uh, and they've got that. And then you have that Better's Wish, a son of Better's Delight um, himself. Yes. One, one other thing about the cross in the uh, in North America, you've got uh, better is nice. He's gone 150 and eight. He's also out of a Western Hanover mare, same, same as his same, the so same cross. That cross is the uh, is probably the leading son now. Yep, and he's had 11 individual winners in the USA. They are uh, not old enough to race here in Australia at the minute. The uh, next one to come through is going to be lot 232. This is the Better's Delight Colt out of Gentle Anvil. I won't steal your thunder on the rest, Mark. I think let's uh, probably just have a look at the cross. This cross has produced nine millionaires, including Lazarus has won 4.4, Chicago Bull 2.4, Self-assured, amazing dream, all nearly $2 million there. So you've got an outstanding cross. Gentle Anvil, of course, has had six of the races, five to win. Uh, G Gentle Giant, of course, he's won 145000 now. With an update, the big boss was the winner of the Nutrien uh, Classic here last year. Yep. So you've got the family of current. Uh, the cross has absolutely proven, like I say, it's happened nine times. It's produced a $1 million in earnings. Yeah, and, and just have a look at the horse. He's a beautiful horse, sensible, strong. Just ready to go to the races. I reckon that's what Macca's thinking there. He He's nearly, a real Macca horse. He could nearly said. go to Caulfield. He could nearly, he could nearly go to the Gallops. There's you, no worries. You look at the, beautifully you look turned at the out heart room, a lovely horse. You'll take the time to go and have a look at him. But like I say, a proven, a proven cross and a lo lovely horse there to boot. Yep, that is, that's, that is for there for sure. So the next horse to come through the, the ring, this is lot number 234. Uh, the, another of the elite strides, this horse here. This horse took my eye, Mark. You know that very, very well when we were there. This is out of Glen Ferry Dash, this goal. How do you like the way he gets over the ground, though? Just got that real amble about him. He's a, an elite stride, like we said. A, a, again, a domestic horse, a, a colonial horse doing a wonderful job. And as you can see, they're out of that cadaver mare there in Glen Ferry Dash. And you've now got the other uh, father, Patrick in Furch, has now, uh, has now been named as well. But it's a, a, a Adel Adela's Dash, the second dam. Goes back through that Glen Ferry Dreamer, Glen Ferry Burn, a wonderful family.
Kelly's not getting much time in the ring. They're walking that quick. Some of these horses, they get they get out and get over the ground. It's impressive, impressive to watch as we have another change. You're not meant to drop the microphone, Mark, but that is okay. The next one we have got in the ring here is lot number 235. This is uh, one also, this is by Classic Connection, a son of Love You out of Glen Ferry and Nick. So people need to look, sit and have a look at this horse because Unbalalur, she was able to win an Oaks and a Derby, Victorian Oaks and a Derby. She was a champion mare. And then Trady Lady took out the Nutrient Equine Classic last year. Year. Beautifully, beautifully presented, Philly Dane. As I, as you join you, hard, to, hard not to sell. We could probably turn the audio down and just let people watch this Philly just walk around. It's a brilliant family, isn't it? Oh, brilliant family, and you know, presents so well. Lovely, lovely stride about her. You know, the, the halves here, Unbelala, three-year-old Australian trotting Philly of the Year as a half. Bogas on Trady Lady, all halves of this lot, and uh, by a really good siren, Classic Connection. So well worth a look. I recommend people go and watch the video, not because I did it. I think um, watch that horse cover the ground, and it was just terrific uh, there, that's for sure. Lot 236, this is the Majestic Sun out of Glory Adon. The, um, one of my cameramen over there, he'll be watching this. He's got a half-brother to this horse um, at race the other night, ran a good, nice second, but Glory Adon is a daughter, a daughter of Sun Don, so the Glory Lass family here. Yeah, good family here. You, you look down through the page, a uh, really, uh, you know, to, Look at what's in front of you here. A nice toppy colt. Lovely nature, lovely stride about him. Uh, second dam bred uh, Pretty Little Angel Eyes. 15 race uh, winning veteran, 114,000. Uh, Pretty Little Angus is there, six wins. Um, tender hose, it's all there. There's 29, $100,000 earners bred on this cross, inc including Sunday's Sun. So a proven cross here and a, a, a great article here in this bait colt by Majestic Sun. Yep, there's a lot 30, 236, the Majestic Sun colt out of Gloria. Don, the next horse to come in is lot number 237, the first of the Tall Dark Strangers, of course, the son of Better's Delight, out of Good Deal, Emily. Uh, this is her first foal. Um, goes back to the Fixer family, great family. Yeah, good New Zealand family here. You, you look through the pedigree here at the second dam. Uh, Mickey Montana, 137,000. Went on and check your updates here. Went on also to read Lincoln La Mousse, who's had a three-year-old win on debut in 2024. Uh, and, and Bumpy there's had some starts as well. Third damn Tosti Girl. This is where it gets interesting. The Fixer, the Honey Queen, uh, the all big, big race winners there. And a, a lot of money right through the pedigree. And a, 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 really, a really lovely typey cult with a, a great stride about him. Turned out beautifully. That is lot number 237. The 238 is a, another of the always be Mickeys. 185 individual winners in Australia and New Zealand. This is out of Good Morning Cheryl, the first foal. Let's go back to that Heaven's Trend family. Yeah, Heaven's Trend. 21 race wins there, 385,000. Uh, a, a really feminine looking lovely uh, filly here by Mickey. Uh, Heaven's Trend there. Trent's out of 115 and before she wa went to the broodmare pen there. Jewel New South Wales and Victorian eligibility here. So if you're looking for a New South Wales and a Victorian eligible horse, this could be the one from you. Uh, also updates there, Captain Tom's had three two-year-old wins in 23, so uh, winning there as three-year-olds and a, a really uh, a, a, a really lovely filly there by Mickey there. Yep, and it's a filly's family, that is that is for sure, that is his lot. Number 238, the always be Mickey out of Good Morning Cheryl the filly. Next one is already in the ring, uh, this is lot 239, this is the, um, uh, sorry, Captain Crunch filly out of Gotta Get Away. Uh, half sister to Chinchilla, a place you and I both know a bit about, Dane. I did have Terry's <laughs> name written beside this one, but yeah, half to Chinchilla here is one four. Check your updates, fifty three thousand to the half there. Second dam elect to live in a really good New Zealand family here. Nineteen race wins, over half a million dollars in early. And look at the uh, New Zealand three year old Philly Pace of the Year, Harness Horse of the Year, Australian three year old Philly Pace of the Year. So also went on to breed Gotta Go Harmony, My Harmony Blue, a, a really good family. And that, what a that's beautiful, a, and it's a beautiful filly. You're just watching it walk there over the back straight there and um, just a beautiful filly, very sensible, low head carriage, just, just yeah. enjoying what she's doing. Yeah. yeah, presented very nice and really lovely feminine uh, filly with a lovely stride, well worth a look. Don't forget we've got best presented today too. Good luck to the judges doing that. That's lot number 239, the Captain Crunch out of Gotta Go Get Away um, there. Lot number 240 is the next one. This well, here's a horse to look at. This is a colt, the first colt out of Gypsy's Flair to be offered up for, a, well, ever. Uh, this is by Love You, Champion Sire, half to Bengals and just a bit touchy. What a uh, look of this horse is. He's a lovely type, but the family speaks for itself. It don't? does. Bengals, Australian two-year-old trotting filly of the year. 
just a bit touchy. Also check your updates there. Keyang Gypsy's had a three-year-old win this year in 24, so there's, it's well worth checking the updates here. Go through the page here. There's Group 1 winning halves. You look down, Fiona's Flair, A Touch of Flair, Son of Flair, Down Under Muscles. There's some big money earners there, and that's a, a, a really impressive uh, bay cult there by Love You. Beautifully turned out too, and he is a must look, especially for the trotters. Uh, there'll be a lot of trotting people looking at him because um, it's a unique opportunity to buy out of a champion family and buy a champion stay and in love you. Lot number 241 is the next horse to be offered up. This is the Captain Treacherous out of Hannah. Again, Captain Treacherous has so far had 260 individual winners in Australia and New Zealand. This horse is a cult, don't you? Yeah, proven sire here and a proven cult. And a, you know, a, a lovely natured cult. Good dam here. You look down uh, through the page here. Uh, the uh, second dam there in IC's Crest won 228,000. Third, third dam was Paris Player. She bred Lombo La Paris and Lombo La Fifi. Plenty of race wins there. Uh, well prepared Colton. A, a stylish, uh, stylish treasure is cold in the lot 241 Colt. Yeah, pretty impressive too. Miss Poppy's friend there, the, uh, the only one the race. Nine two year old wins. Uh, two and three-year-olds, they might have had an update. So I was thinking what I wrote with my note, but still very impressive. Up and going, early horse. Nine, anyone that can have nine wins as a two and three-year-old, yep. they're going pretty good. That is lot number 241. The Captain Treacherous Colt out of Hannah again for uh, Monty Burnett and Grand Lodge. Next horse into the ring. Um, he's going to be 243. This is a, the Tall Dark Strangers, as said, a son of Better's Delight. This one here is out of Helen's in Paradise, a cult. This man's done a great job. Goes back to that same Trebler, Trebler family. We said it there before. Yeah, good family here. Half to uh, Common Courtesy is one seven and over 100,000. And uh, and also Joe Got Roll, who's now had three wins and almost 30,000. So... The, the halves are winning here and a, a good family right through the page. Trebler, Trebler, Ideal Lifestyle, Kajafi, Better Down Under, all on the page there. And a uh, well handled, uh, well handled cult there by the uh, new season siren, Tall Dark Stranger. And of course, Miss Australiana uh, winning the overnight is out of this same family, um, one generation removed, but that same family winning a heat of the Nutrient Classic the overnight at Ballarat. And they said Bathurst again. Lot 244, another of the elite strides. Uh, this is this is a derby cross, this horse here. You've got a New South Wales derby winner in elite stride or derby winner out of the derby, Victorian derby winner in Illiwong, Hilios. Um, great opportunity. And, of course, Kiang Tweety Bird in that same family. Yeah, a, a, a mare here and, and a, out of a mare that's really performed. 19 race wins. Uh, 272,000. She's gone on to the breeding pen and uh, check your updates here. Tweety Bird's now won two three-year-old uh, races there in, in 24. One uh, the other night at Bendigo, I think. One the other night at Bendigo, 10th of April. Uh, so check your updates here and it's very relevant, all these updates, and especially when you get on lots like this in this Elite Stride Bay Philly. Really, really worth Strong Philly. Well strong, 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 Philly. strong, very, very strong. That's lot 244. Of course, eligible for the... Uh, First win, Vic Bread bonus of $2,000. Lot number 245, another Love You Colt. Unique opportunity at this sale to be able to purchase two beautifully bred Love You Colts. I think actually there's three. Uh, this is the first file out of I Choose, but this is that C She's an Image family. Yeah, good family here. Australian three-year-old uh, Philly uh, Trotter of the Year and two-year-old Trotter of the Year, and She's an Image on the page there. Uh, also went on to breed Eva's Image. He's a hammer, all there. Uh, you know, well-performed Cy here in Love You, and, and what he's produced there is a really, really type of young cult there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, beautifully turned out, too. That is light number 245, the Love You cult out of I Choose. I thought they might do that to me. I, I haven't got my page open. We've got God of Thunder, because Love You, the Cy of 216 individual uh, winners, and, um, uh, yeah, some great family uh, winners right through that family. Eva's image, as you said there before, he's a hammer. Gentle image, God of Thunder. Um, and then you go back to Napoleon Boy, back on that fourth dam. And I know you're going back a little while, but again, a, a, a nice family, a good family, a good breeding family, that's for sure. Turned out beautifully by Ben Stud. That's lot number 245, the Love You Bay Colt out of I Choose. Lot 246 is the next. This is a down by the seaside filly. 84 individual winners uh, down by the seaside out of uh, Ideal Priority, the mother of Patacular and Idyllic. What a family. What an opportunity to purchase a, a beautifully turned out filly with a great pedigree to match. Oh, great pedigree and great in the flesh. A lovely long filly and a really great race winning family here. Ideal Priority there has bred some champions and halves to this lot. Patacular has won 18. Australian two-year-old Philly Pace of the Year and three-year-old Philly Pace of the Year. Half to this very lot. 
idyllic 11 wins 216,000 they're just a few of the halves of this lot updates here it is Vic Brad Platinum also in my book so uh, same cross as you were saying Canadian three year old Colton face of the year in Pebble Beach that was the filly by the, down by the seaside lot 246 that is uh, the down by the seaside ideal priority filly Lot 247 is the next one in. This is um, Pastor Stephen, of course, his second second season, but first season when he was standing here. This is a lovely colt. Um, I was fortunate enough to video him. I do, I do. Uh, she's had two foals, two winners. Comes out of that Danny Cash family as well. Yeah, good family here. Danny Cash, 117. Uh, half to this lot in, uh, in uh, Dubal one, as 17. Check your updates here uh, also on this page. Black Valley there on the page, one over 100. Good family and, uh, you know, a, a flashy type of Blake Holt there that the pastor Stephen Sire has produced and lovely nature and lovely stride about the cult. Good page and a good family. Pastor Stephen by Canto Ball, that same, uh, same as uh, Volstead who's taken all before him. So, yeah, lovely, lovely cult. Good to see Renee in the parade ring too. She enjoys it when I mention her name, so I'll get a, she'll get told off later on. But beautifully turned out cult there. That is like 247, the pastor Stephen out of I do, I do. We are going to go to lot number, as I'm just waiting for my th 249. This is the Captain Crunch. Already had four winners out of I'm Twice the Delight. This is a filly, this is a half. To she's our Sunset Delight. Yeah, our Sunset Delight is now 1.8 and over 70,000. So halves are winning here. Uh, second down was Trelease here, 1 4. Uh, Bred My Design with a three race winner. Same cross as Captain Crunch's best USA two year old winner. In 23 and gem quality good page here you, you look right down through the page here twice as hot flaming flutter all big money earners and a really a, a, a striking feminine type of filly here in the ring that really covers the ground nicely paul yep and turned out terrific by galthorn thumbs that's that is right she's getting out of the ground uh and just looks a real goer that's like 249 the captain crunch filly out of i'm twice the delight for dennis Howe, we're going to have a change over here i'm not sure if the boys are ready but that'll be okay like 250 is an art major, of course, a sire of 1,968 individual winners. This is out of um, In Her many Memory for Dennis um, Howe. It's good to see Dennis over there taking happy snaps on the other side of the parade ring this time. Emily's doing the walking, so uh, beautifully turned out horse, eh, Maka? Yeah, you get to see uh, plenty of Dennis, though, on the vision when you're <laughs> filming it. It's uploaded, of course. But, uh, again, affiliate art major uh, out of a winning Mac 3 mare. Uh, this is that wonderful Lorenko Marquez family. Uh, been a, a, a great family here, of course, in Victoria. They're an assistant to the highly promising uh, Group 1 Bathurst Gold Tiara runner-up in our ultimate Jesse, who's been uh, placed at three career starts. So, um, family of exceptional Group 1 fillies that have produced a champion. Yep, and you just started. Just look at this filly, the way she walks, the way she covers the ground. Um, well, she walks with great, absolutely, yeah. She's uh, going places, that's yeah, for sure. Turned turn out yeah. a treat. Dennis Howell, of course, sold at uh, three of the sales. He didn't make the trip to Queensland, but he sold in Sydney, Bathurst and Melbourne. Great supporter here of the Nutrient Equine. One. Yeah, new bowl penny, lead suitcase. You talk about good fillies out of filly families, but when they finish racing, they're right. them. You, you, you can breed horses like Lenny the Shark, no less. 251 now is in the um, parade ring. This is the Better's Wish out of Inner Spring, the Under the Mattress um, family. Of course, uh, Better's Wish, this is his first season um, being offered up here down under. Very, very much in the mould of his sire is this uh, colt here by Better's Wish, a hot young international sire. They've sold really well, sold up to nearly $100,000 in the West. And, of course, the... Uh, three quarter, it's mine on the line. One again at Bathurst on Wednesday night this week. That's a really important update. A three quarter brother in blood to it's mine on the line. Only the third foal of the mare. One of only two betters wish Colts in the sale, but he stamps them really well, very much to his own likeness. And uh, that looks a very professional style of a Colt in the making. Great family too, when you look at that pedigree page, uh, that is for sure. Another great family coming in, the second of the lather ups. Only two lather ups are available to be purchased in this sale. This is lot 252. This is the lather up Colt out of Insidious Charm. Got a bit of leg underneath him. Yes. Uh, this this cult here, um, out of a sports rider mare. I like the sports rider mares too. They do a really good job in the amazing, breeding barn. Amazing stats, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. 
Craig Judd's all over that, actually, so some of them do terrific jobs. This uh, uh, this colt here, of course, Cambo's from a half-sister to two outstanding Group 1 winning fillies and a dual Group 1 winning colt, of course, Louvre, Miss Hazel and Renaissance Man. Yep. Very familiar there with buyers in Victoria. Yeah, no, of course, and Lather Up's had 30 individual winners in the USA. First season racing this season. He's had a couple of starters already in New Zealand. This is 252, the Lather Up out of Insidious Charm. The uh, lot 253, there'll be a lot of people looking at this horse marker. This is the Captain Treacherous filly um, out of Gemstone herself, a winner of $128,000. And if she wasn't chasing home some stable mates, you wonder how much money she would have been winning. That's for sure. This is a um, beautiful filly, isn't it? Oh, this is one of those fillies that is going to capture the imagination of everyone when it comes into the sale ring tomorrow afternoon down here at Oaklands. Uh, it's a filly with the right blood, uh, bred on that same dream cross Captain Treacherous uh, over a Betters Delight lying mare. You, you've got Millwood Nike, of course, bred exactly the same way. The champion New Zealand filly. First foal from Emma Stewart's quality group one place. Philly Gemstone, as you mentioned, Cambo. Won all six as a two-year-old. Precocious, running, up-and-going type. Uh, her half-sister, the group one Super Series winner, Kualoa. Uh, fabulous family there. The make and the shape of the filly, it matches the pedigree. And I've got a funny feeling that they'll be all over at the good judges. It's my Milky Way horse, that is for sure. Lot mm. 254. He's um, telling everyone he's in the parade ring too, that's for sure. This is the Vincent Colt, $12,000 first win bonus. And mm. a JK Lucky be a lady. Uh, five to foals to yeah. five foals, three to race, all three of one. Yeah, he's got a bit to say about himself, that's, this fellow, doesn't he? He's, he's worse than you and me. Yeah, <laughs> impossible. <laughs> uh, but his sire's got now 99 individual winners yes. on the scoreboard. So uh, anyway, I'll get the 100 without a problem in the world. He's a boisterous colt, to say the least out of that uh, winning Western Hanover mare. You don't see too many Western Hanover mares with progeny in these uh, catalogues these days, but uh, JK Luck, be a lady. Um, good bodied colt, really good bodied colt there. He's uh, from a pro that prolific North American JK family of winners, as you can see. Half brother to three winners himself, including Catch the Shark, who was a good juvenile. 254 that was Vincent, JK Lucky B. Lot 255 is the next one in the parade ring. This is the majestic son out of Just a Phoenix. Of course, a half to RC Phoenix. Fourth, yeah, this is current. Fourth in the tab trot last night. Brilliant opportunity here to purchase a lovely colt. Yeah, Chris uh, Venosio is having a fabulous, fabulous run with RC Phoenix. And here is the half uh, relation, as you've touched upon, Cambo, there. Just have a look at the, the make and the shape of this majestic son, Cole. He's got it all there. He's well grown. Good thing about these horses coming into April is they've had the opportunity, that it's extra great. couple of months, you can see the furnish, you can see the muscle. Um, fabulous family, the LJK Phoenix family, Australian two-year-old trotter of the year, and on and on it goes. I know there's a few horses out of this very same pedigree right through the sale, but... I'll tell you what, you'd buy him by the kilo at the moment. He's a good, strong, strapping colt. That's like 255. Majestic Sun's best son is Oscar Bonavina, and it's a half to RC Phoenix. A real tab trot about it, that one. 256. This is the second of the Bold Eagles being offered up. This is out of Kinvara Sue, and of course, um, Kinvara Kate. Had a debut second at Bendigo the other day, and I know the stable have got a real good opinion of that filly. So this is a unique opportunity to buy a beautiful colt, um, beautifully well prepared, this one, Macca. Yeah, I looked at the horse online too and uh, just sort of the, the, how it moved. It really easy mover. Yeah. <laughs> um, just cruises along and got a really relaxed style. Remarkably successful Victorian family, as you can all clearly see here. Cambo, you've given the update about Kinvara Kate there. And... Bold Eagle, um, only Bold Eagle colt in the catalogue. Yep. So it'll attract some attention there and doing a really good job in the Northern Hemisphere. So $45,000 plus earners in the Northern Hemisphere for Bold Eagle. Just an amazing stat there. Wonderful, That's wonderful job he's doing. Lot 256, the Bold Eagle colt out of Kinvada Sioux. The next one in the parade will be lot 257. This is the American Ideal colt. Um, first foal um, out of Intrusive. No, one foal out of Intrusive, but of course out of that Make Mine Cullen family. Well, I think it's no secret that I've been one of the greatest fans of all time of American Ideal. He, he, there's, no, a bloke, there's a bloke over there that might be a bit bigger, but that's okay. Well, I'll say this. There's been no more influential sire in the history of the WA Pacing Cup than American Ideal. I think he's sired something like five or six Group 1 WA Pacing Cup winners. Yeah. Uh, remarkable record over there on the West beautiful Coast. Beautiful colt here out of a beautiful quality, family. Quality, quality colt there. Another sweet, moving colt there. Great family there out of Intrusive who won nine. Half to Intrusion, three-year-old winner. 
Captain Hammerhead, make my Memphis Sicario there. Quality winners on the catalogue page, but of course by the ill-fated American Ideal. Next in we have lot number 258. This is the Better's Delight. Uh, La Vitesse Colt, beautiful family, one change changeover. And of course, Better's Delight, the sire of Leap to Fame. I'll so be very, very, proud to, to, uh, yeah, very proud to offer this uh, Colt up on behalf of Ben Stud uh, tomorrow. This is an exquisite Colt there. He's a three-quarter brother, in actual fact, to one change, the New Zealand two-year-old of the year. Only the second foal from a half-sister to the mighty New Zealand uh, Colt, as I say, one change, four group, one wins, 119. Uh, Grand Dam, well, she was just, uh, I guess, a breed shaper in many respects there. Dam of change over, change stride. Um, Four and a half million dollars in prize earnings on that one page. Yep, absolutely. The next one I want people to sit up and have a look at, please. This is lot 259. This is the Soho Tribeca at a Rosa, Lo Ro Lady Rosalita. Now, be aware that this horse is raising awareness and funds for Pancare. So 100% of the proceeds that this horse earns uh, through the ring go to Pancare to um, raise awareness to help, help try and find a cure for pancreatic cancer. So be aware that uh, that's this, this horse here will be 100% um, so well done to everyone involved and that includes Mark Barton, uh, Nutrient Team, the Horse Transport, the Farrier, everyone is getting behind this to raise money and awareness for Pancare. So um, this is lot number 259. I'll let you go now, Macca. Uh, of course, being by Soho Tribeca, unique opportunity, $12,000 first win bonus as well. But lot 259, the Soho Tribeca had a rosy lady, Rosalita. Yeah, fabulous group one winning son of uh, the great American ideal Soho Tribeca, fabulous performer, of course, out of Lady Rosalita. Um, Rosa Mack, as you can see there in the second dam, also the dam of Mack 9, who's now a three-year-old debutante winner since this catalogue came out. But I can only but, I guess, echo the sentiments about the fundraising aspect yep. to it. If uh, if it was around when my dear friend Gillian Antartus... Uh, I think we've all been touched, that's for sure. So Had yep. to battle pancreatic cancer for six years, and if they had just had that cure... cure it would have been a whole lot different, so I can assure you of that. So when you look at this, be aware that you're doing a great thing for a great yeah, cause as well. That's lot 259, the Soho Trebekah at a lazy road as a leader, Philly. And I said 100% of all earnings go to Pancare. I'm going to be in trouble here. I've left me hat behind, Maka, but this is lot number 261. This is the Rock and Roll Dance Philly out of Lyra, New York. This has got a 3x3 three three to Cam's Card Shark resource, mate. Yeah, better's delight, Mayor. 100% winners to runners, producer. Um, two two-year-old winners there, of course, that she's produced. Grand Dam was a good filly in Sarbet. Uh, strong West Australian family, too, if I think back over the years, too. Lovely horse. Yeah, the great Soakies number. Look at the way it walks. It's yeah, just fantastic, horse, athletic, well-balanced. Uh, you've got everything in the right place there from the Ghoulies. And uh, a rock and roll dance, of course, this, uh, this filly by No Win, No Feed, Lady Rock and Roller, and She Can Dance a Sire as well. So she lacks for absolutely nothing, and it's a good running, precocious family. She actually looks like a colt, beautifully turned out there by Leah Crane, and uh, she gave me a hat, because I might have copied, pe picked on her hat last year, so I actually got a free hat this year. I like her hat. Uh, then the one she gave me is even better. This is lot 262. The next one we spoke there before about American Ideal, the sire of 869 Australia and New Zealand winners. Life well lived. This is a cult um, out of that Smudge Bromac family. Piccadilly Princess, what a cult. Yeah, what a magnificent looking individual this cult is here. Uh, by the ill fated American Ideal. Look at that Western Ideal Arts Place. Bloodline there, double cross right through the pedigree. First foal, and boy, hasn't she thrown something into this Can't he walk? I just stayed around and watching him walk down that back straight. He's got a lovely walk on him, that is for sure. He's Stylish just... horse indeed. First foal out of a two-year-old winning rock and roll heaven mare. Daughter of Tuscan Breeze, a juvenile runner. Smudge Bromac, Arnold McArdle, Slick Bromac, Simba Bromac's family, of course. And then you can tap it right back into the brilliant filly in uh, a Piccadilly princess. But he's just a mighty looking cult. He'll create a lot of competition. He will indeed. This next horse up is like 263. This is the down by the seaside at a Lombo Cloud 9. Herself a winner of 102,000. Four foals, four race, four winners. Unique opportunity. What a beautiful colt he is too. I've been able to see him a little bit. I can't believe we've only got one sweet Lou filly in the catalogue. No, go next one over. Go over one more. Oh, Michael, this is, two, this two is 263. 63. This My is apologies. a down by the seaside colt. Right. Um, but 
We'll do the Capilli in a sec. Powerful, powerful, well developed, very mature. Uh, I've got written down cult. here, down by the seaside to sire a coastal babe. I can tell you, anyone wants to know what coastal babe looks like? That's what he looks like. Strong girth, big shoulder, lovely horse. Blanche, I've noticed one thing. Blanche's horses have come in and are announcing themselves today. They, they, they say they want this look at me. <laughs> That's for sure. But he's a beautiful colt. Lot 263, they're down by the seaside at a Lombo Cloud. Well, they're commanding nine. attention, and so they should too, from that family as well. It's a, a very good... Um, you know, family out of a, a good race winning filly and uh, a good producing mare too. So right. go go back one page now. We've got lot number 262A. This yep. is the Sweet Lou, the one you had there. Yep. This is out of locks of gold. As you said, you can't believe there's only one Sweet Lou. Mark Hughes is up there. He's had 201 individual winners here in Australia and New Zealand this year alone. Yeah, the only filly. And, and a typical of um, 447 winners that he stamped. Sweet Lou, just a remarkable job and a very typical of the Sweet Lou style of uh, filly. This one here got a bit of bling there on her head, which is typical of them. Uh, a filly bred to the right cross, of course. Uh, the second foal out of uh, the Live or Die Mare, a family of the outstanding juvenile filly and Mindery Pretty, Australian two year old of the year. And uh, of course, Sweet Lou, the sire of Ward Lou. Now, Mike Reader, I think, is coming to the sale uh, with his clients from WA. I'm pretty well, sure they're coming. Uh, that it could, could be, be one on the for radar. them. Well, it's the sire of Ward Lou. Now, Ward Lou's won 12 of 16 over there in WA as a two and three year old for the Reed Stable. So they like them, and I reckon they might be on this one. 264. I have to keep us going. You know that. We're up to now here. This is a colt out of Liz Lady. What a family this is. Albert, Albert, Liz Mara down that same family by down by the seaside. Yeah, just look at the influence too of some beat somewhere in that family. Uh, De Los Celios, uh, Leighton Hanover, Captain Victorious, all by Captain Treacherous, those quality winners there. He by some beat somewhere. All three quarters and closely related. Have a look at the pedigree. It, it just absolutely family. works to a T, doesn't it? Very good winner producing daughter of Christian Cullen. Not a lot of guesswork there, but I love the impact that some beach somewhere has had on this maternal family. Yeah, it's very, very. I'm actually impressed with your uh, short end too, Macca. It's uh, it's actually something to behold. I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy a couple of that because some beach somewhere is one of the worst horses to ride out. That's for sure. That's two, <laughs> 264. They're down by the seaside out of Liz Lady. Of course, down by the seaside. 84 individual winners as Mark Barton comes back and joins me. We have got lot number 265 now in here. This is What the Hill, sire of 38 individual Australian and New Zealand winners, headed up by Love Me Too. This is a colt at a Luna, a Illawong Luna. Mate, and an absolutely standout star type there again too. You've got uh, that family there, Luna Landing, of course, was a 2014 and 15 trotting broodmare of the year. Goes back through that wonderful family, Spider Girl, Illawong Armstrong, Illawong Stardust, Moonshine, uh, Illawong Move Dream, Exalt is now an update, but you've got an absolute standout type there by uh, What the Hill, mate. Yeah, it, yep, and beautifully turned out, that's for sure. As I said there, 38 individual Australian and New Zealand winners for What the, what the Hill. That's lot number 265. There, the what the hill out of Illawong Luna. Lot yep. 266 now, um, out of that same family, because this is out of Luna Landing. This is by Elite Stride, and I keep saying, and I will keep saying it, $12,000. First win bonus if this horse wins a, a race, because it is Vic Bread Pure eligible. Yeah, and again, you've got a wonderful family. Elite Strider, of course, doesn't have to prove anything. But again, we just talked about that previous lot. You've got that Lunar Landing, Spider Girl, Armstrong, Stardust, Moonshine, that same family uh, represented there again. And in both cases, they're beautiful types here, this time a filly. Uh, Philly there again with uh, plenty of updates of very current family. Uh, we see Love Gun's gone 157 now, 13 wins. Uh, Illawong Stardust gone 156 with 11 wins. But um, a consistently uh, performing family there, mate. Yeah, no, beautiful filly. Beautifully turned out by the Alabar team. Doing a great job getting all these horses up into the parade. Lot 266, the Elite Stride Luna Landing filly. Lot 267 is the Always Be Mickey out of uh, Magic Z Tam. Um, this is a filly, very, very well-bred filly, of course, related to Tam Major. Yeah, and bred on the same cross as, uh, as Monty Mickey there, the, uh, the USA uh, two-year-old pacing cult of the year. So uh, you've got a, a wonderful cross there, proven crosser again. Goes back to a wonderful family there too, as you can see, Cam Luck uh, down there in Magic uh, Zam there. And again, goes back through Tam Major, who's now 34 wins and $500,000 in earnings. Yeah, um, just a super family. And as I say, always be Mickey doing the job in New Zealand and Australia. This and an update. Yeah, it's a pla platinum horse. Too. Yeah, so it is a... Very 
Vic Fred Platinum eligible there. Um, lovely horse, Tam Major, what a horse he was. The family all the way through. It's a beautiful family and well done to Durham Park. Turning out lot number 267, the always be Mickey at a Magic Z Tam. Lot 269 is the next horse to come in. This, of course, for Aldebaran Park. This is a self-win, Frank, a son of um, Muscle Hill. I'll tell you, there'll be a few people looking up, having a look at this 271, horse. 271, 271. 271, Aldebaran Eagle, sorry. Um, another Muscle Hill horse, anyway. This is out of Mason Magic. This is the Colt. Um, of course, there's a couple of little updates, but what a colour, what a type of horse he is, 271. I, I think we talk about it again. Have a look into the horse. I know when we were out there the other day, we just said, oh, we better get that fellow out to have a look. And when he gets out there, there's a lot of horse, but an a absolute um, athlete there, as you can see. Mason Magic, of course, he's had three to the races now. Misty, Miley, and a bit of Magic are all winners. And Aldebaran Marshall at Andover Hall is now a qualified, uh, qualified youngster as well. Yeah, uh, beautiful horse, so, uh, and because the half-brother stepped out the other night at Bendigo in the heats of the Nutrient, Nutrient Trotters Classic um, just the other night. That's like number 271, the Elder Baron Eagle, out of Mason Magic. Next one to come into the ring is going back to 269. This is the South Wind Frank. Uh, I said there before about it being a Muscle Hill Stallion. Three Australian wins, uh, South Wind Frank already here, 77 in the USA. Maria Plom will go with, has had one foal to the races. This is now that Mari Moon, tricky interest, Kiang Zena family, Mark. Yeah, and as you go down, we've talked about it there before, the, the Lunar Landing family as well, Spider Girl again. So there's three in about six or seven lots, and there's a reason why those families keep popping up. They're consistently producing winners on the track, aren't they? And you've got, uh, with the Ploms now had starts in 2024, uh, and you've got, like I say, that Maori family, uh, pretty majestic. They're a wonderful family there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, <laughs> that's for sure. That's a self win, Frank. 269 Maria Plom family. Beautifully turned out horse, too, and uh, a colt uh, there. So, yeah, and of course, eligible for quite a few of the races, including the Nutrient uh, so a Trotting Classic race here. This is 269, the South Wind Frank, Mari Aplom family. The next horse to come through is going to be lot number 270, another of the Captain Crunches. We had a few of those go through. Uh, this is a horse with a good couple of updates here as well. This is the Manalira Colt uh, for D Rhiannon Park, Mark. Yeah, well, look, the update there, which I reckon uh, Husey would know, is uh, Kadunga Express, the sweet lose now winner. Uh, went around in 157 and 6 there the other day. So you've had one to the race and one to win. So um, you've got a winner by Sweet Lou. This one a Captain Crunch. But again, a really, really nice the way this one gets over the ground. Lovely colt. And you've got a great family, um, Amarillo, and of course the second M, Australian Broodmare of the Year, and goes back through Carlos Pixel, Soho Tribeca family. I was going to say, we've been talking about sires and, and breeding here. This horse has got all the breeding. It's a great family, prolific family. Leaves winners in colts, fillies, the whole box, and Dyson. Just a lovely turned out horse, isn't he? Yeah, and lovely on his feet, light on his feet, and a real athlete. I reckon keeping, a, um, a likely type. Keeping Blanche on the toes, these guys are. I, I don't think she's uh, missed too many parades, that's for sure. She's doing an awesome job. He didn't want to leave either. He likes what you said about him, I think. <laughs> Beautifully turned out with the ribbons in there as well. Well done to the team at Rhiannon Park for turning these horses out in the manner that they have. Lot 274 is the next into the parade, Mark. This is the Sweet Lou Colt. 200 individual Australian winners. Oh, he's left me. Um, I got it right there. Um, out of Miss Athens, five foals, five to race. All four are winners. You're headed up by Briallo's pass, mate. Yeah, and updates are again. Miss Artemis is now up, up just shy of $50,000 in earnings. Ideal Melody is now an update. Moops has now had five wins. And... Um, uh, do, do Don't Think has also uh, been going around the world said. So you've got um, 114 or 25% of Sweet Lou's progeny. Uh, he's getting a, a, a winners in the Southern Hemisphere, mate. So, yeah, we, uh, we can talk about all of them, but um, you've got the, uh, the New Zealand two-year-old pacing filly of the year is um, Darling Me. Yeah. yeah. Same cross. Yeah. So beautifully turned out, too. Uh, black, not a stitch of white. was unusual for a Sweet Lou, but... Well, you'd like to take him home, that's for I'll sure. I'll tell you what, a really nice horse, though. Lot 274, the Sweet Lou out of Just might mention, too, that horse has been scoped on the 11th of April, so the, uh, the vendors have already had him scoped and come up clean. Lot 275, this is the Elite Stride out of Miss, Bliss, Miss Blissful. Of course, Elite Stride won the New South Wales Derby and nine wins, 155.8, best time he set. Yep, and the first foal for this uh, uh, this uh, Miss Blissful, the New Zealand um, uh, trotting mare, but I tell you what, hasn't she done a wonderful job with this fella? As you can say, by that uh, the uh, the colonial side there in Elite Stride, so you got the chance for twelve thousand dollars in um, the first win too, I reckon, haven't we? Yes, you have. Yep, um, and that's a unique th opportunity with a few of these trotters. 
um, mainly the Pacers for a long time. But yeah, we've got quite a few Trotters re represented with that first win, $12,000 bonus. I think we're going to stay on the Trotters here and we're going to go to, by the looks, miss number 277. Uh, what an opportunity this is. Pastor Stephen, a son of Cantab Hall. Um, we've been saying about Volsed's the run that he had at the Nutrient Classic the other night. Of course, a son of Cantab Hall. Um, and here you get the opportunity to buy uh, a half brother to Elder Baron Zeus. What a horse he's been for Elder Baron Park. What a beautifully turned out horse we've got here. The gelding, I must say, out of Miss Sweden. Yeah, again, great family, as you said there, the family of um, Alder Baron Zeus. He's just shy of half a million dollars himself. And again, a, a Vic Bread Platinum, just an update there, a Vic Bread Platinum, this fellow as well. So just to make sure you get that right, he's a Platinum horse, uh, bypassed to Stephen. But again, have a look at the page, but uh, certainly have a look into the horse. You've got a lovely, lovely typey fellow there again. We've got beautiful bone, a very correct horse there. Looks like you'll go early too, is what um, Pastor Stephen actually done. Well, 276, we'll go back one mark, is out of ride high, a 140. 49 Australian record holder at Bendigo and not Brett Coffey couldn't get there this is out of Miss Delightful the first foal yeah, well, a better delight, um, uh, Western Terror Cross again with that right high cross. But again, we said it before, there's that real art major type to him. The, uh, the right high is doing a really nice job. As you can see there, the, uh, the first dam is, is done a, uh, is Miss Delightful, uh, uh, her second foal. And you go back down through that family, that... Uh, that second dam again also was a, um, a, a winner. She's had six to the races and uh, three to the race and three of one. And um, again, you've got a, um, a really, really nice type more than anything by the right high sire and doing a lovely job that filling. Lot 276, that's a right uh, out of Mr. Lightful. I can say the audio is working somewhere anyway, so we're all good. Lot number 278 is the pass of Stephen Colt out of Modern Murray. Modern Murray herself has had five foals, four to race, three to wins, headed up by the Group 1 winner in Kai Valley, Clichy, but Nita Bacardi and Murray Princess, all out of that same family. It's a great family, beautifully turned out Colt 278, this is Murray. Yeah, and another update there, you've got now I Am Harrow is a majestic sun uh, gilding that is now uh, started in 20. 24 in Europe is an update to your page and Central Otago we mentioned now $113,000 in winnings uh, again a, a Vic Bread um, uh, Vic Bread Platinum there for you too mate and I tell you what again a really really nice representation of the past of Stevens putting a lovely stamp on them yeah he has indeed and well done to the guys at Staffordshire Farms. Of course, they took out the first heat of the Nutrient Trotters Classic the other day. He didn't take long to text me either. He knew I was going live, <laughs> and uh, he was ready for that. That is lot number 278. Nev's going to do another lap. He's going to have a bit of look at me about him about by the looks, young Nev. I, I think uh, one thing, when you look at what the, uh, the Pengrazio stable, their family operation, the horses that they keep in the stable are the ones that they've raised themselves. So the, the chances of these horses going on to win race are very, very likely because they only keep the good ones. And the winners, they, go, they leave, they go everywhere. They keep winning everywhere. They can be fast class horses, as I said, with Kai Valley Clichy being a Group 1 winner, Nita Bacardi, um, and the rest of that family. Great family. Beautifully turned out. Colt this year. The son of Pastor Stephen out of Modern Murray. That is lot number 278 as Neville leaves us. Lot 279 is coming in now. This, of course, is by Vincent. No, Great. that won't be that. Going back. Which way are they going? We're going to go to 280, and I'm going to pass you over, I this reckon, today. This always be Mickey, sorry, out of Molly's Lucky Star. We've got here, of course, always be Mickey, the sire of 185 individual winners, uh, headed up by Cold Chisel and a few of the others out of Molly's Lucky Star. Seven foals, six to race, six winners, and that champion family in act now. Hello, Dane. Hello, Paul. Excellent uh, producing dam line here, uh, right right down the page. Half, half hit here to ask me to tell you, Wardan Star. Shallow Beach uh, is an update here. I'm Sir Patrick. Has now had three wins and a three I win in 24. So check the updates there. You look back down uh, Act Now, 21 race wins. Australian three-year-old Colt Pace of the Year. That's a lovely Colt, well put together. A lovely natured, uh, well presented Colt there. By oh. always be the Durham Mickey. Park Draft are all for sale. Go and see them and have a good talk to them. You'll get a good shock. Lot 280, that is. You always be Mickey out of Molly's star. Now we'll go back to lot 279. This is going to throw you a curveball. But it's great to see the feasters over there. Gene and Maddie, hello to you guys. And thanks for coming here and seeing the parade. Of course, they uh, own and race, Vincent. And he's at 98 individual Australian and New Zealand winners as we speak. This is out of Molly Pitcher. Five wins, um, sorry, five foals, three to race, three winners. Um, good family, this one too, Dane. Good family. Check your updates here again. A half to this lot in the Sports Star has now had 10 race wins and almost 60,000 on the Trained by the sister-in-law, that one. You'll get, you'll get yourself in the good books for that. Well done. I always need to do that. <laughs> Myla Girl's now qualified as well. Another half to this lot by Sports Rider, but... A 
You know, a, a, a lovely, well-presented Bay filly here with a, a good, good page right through uh, second dam bred uh, uh, Adams Rocket, who won 33. Yep. And Sunbeat Shadow, Chris's Shadow, Art Shadow. It's just a really, really good family. That is lot number 279, the filly by Vincent out of Molly Pitcher for Rhiannon Farms. Lot 281 we'll go to now. This is a Pastor Stephen filly out of Manara Mia herself, 241 individual uh, uh sorry she won 241,000 was and a half to Monaro Maro $197,000 yeah uh 16 race wins for the dam here and this is your opportunity her first foal here before you lovely filly too of course by pastor Stephen second dam uh, bred Monaro Maro who won 18 and almost 200,000 and a, a lovely feminine type easy going well traveling uh, filly here by pastor Stephen well presented here Manara Mara, of course, won the New, New Zealand Northern Trotting Oaks um, a couple of years back. That is uh, lot number 281, the pass to Stephen out of Manaro Maro, a filly uh, for Wingate Farm. So thank you very much to those guys. Lot 282 is our next horse to go through. This is a Majestic Sun. Majestic Sun's had 517 individual Australian and New Zealand winners. Out of Illawong Moonshine, won a great horse. Uh, but what a great pedigree this horse has got on the page. Uh, great pedigree, Paul. A great horse too. We just got the inside information there. A you, full, don't, you don't believe everything Kel says. <laughs> a full uh, brother to cover of darkness. A group, so a, a full to the uh, to the group one winning uh, horse in cover of darkness is at one ten and over a hundred thousand. Also there, uh, Illawong Moonbeam is now one eight and sixty two thousand. Check your uh, updates as well. The priestess. She's not. She's concentrating. She's walking too hard. You can't get lovely, all those streets. Lovely type and uh, a lovely type of cult. That is the Majestic Sun cult out of Illawong Moonshine. Beautifully turned out cult we had there, that's for sure. Pastor Stephen, lot number 284. Of course, the son of Cantab Hall and a full brother to Father Patrick. This is um, a filly. This is out of Moonshine Stride. This is her first foal. Yeah, first foal for this dam. She won for herself and the uh, good page here, you see the uh, former New Zealand three-year-old trotting filly of the year. They're the third dam in Princess Della. Went on to breed Kai Valley Mac, who, uh, who won 12,166,000. Out of a uh, majestic sun dam this time in Munchide Stride by the uh, well-known site in Pastor Stephen. Lovely, uh, lovely bay filly that covers the ground nicely and uh, well worth a look, the uh, lot 284 filly from Lower Long Farms. Yeah, some nice winners in that family. Co Valley Mac, just a cracker and the likes. But beautiful walking horse, that's for sure. 284, the pass to Stephen out of Moonshine Stride, Philly. The next one, we're going to skip a couple. I reckon we're going to go to 287. And we have, this is a down by the seaside, of course, the sire of By the Missile, one of these 211 individual winners in the USA. And he's up to 84 individual Australian and New Zealand winners. This is out of Namark. Um, out of that Arc Marie family, a great family there, Dane. Great family, winners all down the page, of course, and Art Major Mayor here, but uh, Arc Marie, Australian, former Australian broodmare of the year, she bred no, uh, 10 winners, Atomic Arc, Arc Amigo, Arc Arena, Mona Mark, they're all there, and uh, a big, big, strong cult that I, I thought a lot of uh, inspecting yesterday. Uh, last year's half went to WA and is nearly ready to trial, so got big wraps on last year's half over in the west so uh it's gone to a good home but a, a, good a big strong cult that size, covers a lot of ground it, yeah. yeah lovely seaside cult there lot 287 out in the mark you're doing half me job for me you're doing a good job dane don't you worry about this the next one we have is lot number 288 this is a rock and roll dance filly out of nat's survival rock and roll dance 433 Individual winners in Australia and New Zealand, they just keep winning too, don't you worry about that. And well led by Mitchie, don't you? I've got to give her some cheek as well, don't I? <laughs> uh, a live or die, uh, the uh, dam here by Live or Die, but all winning halves here. Shady as Nats a, Nats a Christian, Shark Attack has now won nine. Check your update, 62,000 on the board there. So plenty of money through the pedigree and right up the top where you like to see it with the, with the halves winning and winning well. Second dam bred uh, Pacific Charm who won 16 and 220,000. You look right down the page there, Penny VJ and Lenny the Shark, 38 race winner, over $3 million in earnings there. The uh, filly there, lot 288. 
Rock and roll dance, and that's survival. You'd left me hanging there. I'll do you want to finish it all for me. Right, if you like a cross, this is a cool cross. This one, lot number 289. This is the Tin Tin in America at a Neapolitan Franco. And um, have a look at your pedigree page when you get a minute because it's got some pretty cool crosses up there. Yeah, interesting cross here. The uh, double cross uh, in the pocket and Falcon, Falcon seals are on both sides, top and the bottom there. So uh, an interesting cross, but a, a, a lovely correct filly. We inspected this filly yesterday and, and uh, l lovely, uh, lovely correct filly with a, with a great nature. Uh, Hurricane Franco, a half now, has had four three-year-old wins. And over 20,000 on the board. Franco Tyson's had a three-year-old win too. Since the catalogue went to print, so, so, so important. You do check those updates. But a lovely tin tin filly here presented well by Monique and I think well worth a look. Yep, 289. The tin tin in America at a Neapolitan Franco for Joe Pace and the Pace family. Um, we're going to go with 291. The Rock and Roll Heaven filly out of Nickel Miss. Rock and Roll Heaven done an awesome job. Headed up by Let It Ride with 598 individual Australian and New Zealand winners. Um, and yeah, beautifully turned out filly, that's for sure. Yeah, Nickel Miss won seven. She's uh, gone to the Broodmare pen and has bred four winners. Delightful Nikki, Nitro Nikki, Beach Babe Nikki, and Nuclear Nikki. All halves and all winners. Uh, on the page here, do your updates there. Down after the third dam, well said Nugget has now had a three-year-old win. So there's updates all over these pages. Well worth going back to that catalogue and uh, having a look. John Ang down the page has now won four also. $300,000 earners bred on this cross. So a, a, a proven cross and a, a lovely article, a, a lovely type of uh, a pretty bait filly there by Rock and Roll Heaven. We don't uh, give Rock and Roll Heaven enough credit, that's for sure. He's um, let it ride. Expensive Ego, because we've had a half to Expensive Ego in this sale, Swayze. Um, he's just done a brilliant job. Unfortunately, Rock and Roll Do was going over to the Grins the other night, and he didn't take pay part in that either, but 598 winners. And then you've got some great family down the bottom. Saab, Teledigra, Sabella, uh, Saabet. Brilliant family down the bottom there as well. That's lot number. This is lot number 291. Wants a little bit of look at me time, Dane, too. So might be a bit like Joshy. Joshy the, lead, Joshy, the leader, might have wanted to look at me time. But 291 there, the rock and roll heaven filly out of Nickel Miss. And well done for just giving us a little bit more time, that is for sure. 294. This is um really impressive filly, this. This is the classic connection at a one-star LB. One-star LB, a half-sister to Call Me The Breeze, who went pretty good last night in the tab trot. That's right. Very relevant here. Second dam, a half to call me the breeze. So, so, so relevant and uh, relevant money earning families here. Uh, classic connection, great job as a sire here and a half to uh, Comayeur here who has won 64,000 now on the board. So, uh, Foxy Lady also down the page uh, has had three two-year-old wins in 23 since we went to print. So, that there's a very relevant family and a lovely type of, uh, type of filly here by Classic Connection. Absolutely, and she's a three-quarter to Cool Me Air because Classic Connection is by Love You, Village Mystique, which you wouldn't have known that, is by Love You as well. So there's proven cross, a cross that works. That is lot number 294, the Classic Connection out of One Star LB, the filly. We have now got 290. We're going to go backwards. They love giving us a curveball, but we'll let Blanche off because she's doing an awesome job. She's smiling, so that's all you can do. This is the Stay Hungry. What a job Stay Hungry's done this season. He might have sighted a horse called Sugar Rush that we've got to give a bit of a wrap. This is um, lot uh, 100, uh, sorry, the Stay Hungry out of Nicky Rocks, at first fold. It's good that you shared that information, Paul. At <laughs> Stay Hungry doing a, doing a great job and, and, and winning, we, having two-year-olds hit the track and winning and uh, winning well. Uh, second Dan Bread, uh, Pray Tell, who won seven. Black Magic Mara won ten. Nicky's Delight, Dominus Factum there with 17 wins now. And 151,000 on the board. So relevant pedigree and, and, and relevant race winners. But there's a big cult with size there and a, a, a really impressive Stay Hungry cult from Rhiannon Park. That's lot 290. Macca tried to say that it was a stable mute because he didn't want to talk. But right as he got to us, he said hello. So that is that is it. We go to lot number 292 now, Dane. This is um, the Ride High. Of course, Ride High is eligible for the $12,000 first win bonus. Out of, um, I'm in trouble here, Ninska, Ninka, Nikasari, I'll go with. I don't know why I didn't look at that. Making this also three quarters of Marian artists. Yeah, three. <laughs> three, uh, three halves that are all winning races here. Samarian artist, Damasus Zangi there, as you can see, is at a three hour win in 2023. A, a, a good pedigree here, a relevant pedigree uh, by the siren ride high, the Art Major Sun out of a Western Terror dam here. 
Really well put together. Well, uh, well, easy going, smooth travelling filly there from from uh, from Alabar. Uh, Alabar. That's right. That is lot number 292. We've got number 293. Another of the Tintin tin in America's into the program. This is out of Nitro Nikki. We've got a few Nikki's going here. I thought I had the wrong horse for a minute, but uh, Tintin in America, the sire of 129 individual winners, headed up by Tim's a trooper. And this was had one race for one win. As. Um, as uh, Bardo, Bardo's trying to throw us a curveball. We'll just, we won't worry about him, Dane. You just he keep going on line and length. Lovely right? till, uh, <laughs> lovely uh, tin tin filly here. The uh, Dam One Five. The half has now qualified there too. We'll check your updates. So the uh, half of this lot has qualified. Second Dam was Nickel Miss. She won seven. Bred four winners, delightful Nikki, Beach Babe, Nikki, Nuclear Nikki. Down the page, well said Nugget again has had three three R wins. Check your updates. And uh, you look down through the page, you see the name there of uh, Suki's number, Australian Broodmare of the Year, twice Victorian Broodmare of the Year, so a relevant family and a, a lovely filly in the lot, 293 filly, the Tintin tin filly. At a Nitro Nikki. We've got now got number 295, the Captain Crunch. Of course, four wins here already in Australia, headed up by Kima. This is um, the Captain Crunch Colt out of our options. I reckon, Dane, you're going to have to go because he's going to tell you, no, you're going to leave me swinging. Unbelievable. This is um, a great family here. Mac is going to get their headset on. We've got to get the headset only made of our options. Uh, Dane's gone. He's, he's left me high and dry. A couple of little updates here with uh, Cardinal Sin uh, there as, as a winner as Macca joins me. Thank you, Macca. <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs> You going to talk about this one, or you want me to keep going? Oh, this is our, the our, our options. This is a better delight. This one's about to leave us. This is lot well, 295 to, uh, for Gavel Fawn Farms. Yep, doing a this good is job, this is course. a colt out of uh, for by Captain Crunch out good of our horse. options. Yeah. Good, Brave View Kelly, Ohaka Connor, and Twist and Twirl family. Nice and a great family back there. Absolutely. Right, Trotter, coming into the ring. I'll get you on bat straight and narrow. Lot number 296. This is the Tomoko colt. Beautiful chestnut yeah. colt. Out of Al Sunny Rose, the first live foal is a three-year-old. It's Al Sunny Wiz. I, I'm not quite sure what it is, but there's something that intrigues me enormously about this son of Tomoko, champion group one star. But there was something in the vision when I first laid eyes on him, I couldn't quite put my finger on. Maybe it's the way that he walks. He's got this presence about him. He's, I think he's got a lot of appeal there, and the buyers will probably tap into something that's pretty unique about this fellow. He's uh, from a from Timmy Butts' millionaire Kiwi family superstar in Vulcan, into Dominion champion. Um, you can see those good winners there, the Grand Dam of the Cold, our Sonny Wiz, Sonny's little Wiz, Sonny's little Jestic, all good performers as well. But there was just something about him that attracted me to the way he moves, and I, I reckon other buyers will be thinking the same. That's lot 296 to Tomoko out of our mm. Sunny Rose. Mel, we'll get you to do another lap if you would, please, when you go around. Um, going around there, we've got number, uh, well, we're going to go 299. This is the Elder Baron Eagle out of ODM Phoenix, of course, out of that Phoenix family. But an important thing to realise, Elder Baron Eagle is the sire of 21 individual winners in Australia and New Zealand as well. They've already done a brilliant job. So Tell you what he yeah. can do, Cambo, he can stamp very good two and three rolls. This is a strong-looking colt. Fabulous mover, covers the ground effortlessly if you get a look at the vision of him. Only the second foal from a half-sister to the Breeders' Crown winner in LJK Phoenix. Again, we go back to the RC Phoenix family. But boy, oh boy, he is a good type, good bone, strong muscled up colt. And I think that he carries a lot of appeal by a stallion who can get good juveniles. Yeah, and a prolific family that leaves winners all the way through it as well. Mm. That, is, that is like number 299, the Elder Baron Eagle out of ODM Phoenix Colt for Elder Baron Park. Um, there, I'm just not sure who our next one is. But thank you very much, Mel, for doing that extra lap and letting us catch up a bit. Uh, for Alabar, the next horse to come into the ring is lot 302. Always be Mickey at a party major. What a family this horse is. Of course, the same family as Democrat Party and Republican Party. Got a lot of Republican Party. Look about it, this horse too. That's for sure, 302, Macca. Wonderful New Zealand running Phillies pedigree. Two New Zealand two-year-olds of the year. Party Party, Cowgirls and Indians as well. And from a half-sister, as you mentioned, of course, to that smart Philly and Democrat party as well. And she's been a producer of a very good performer. Um, look, certainly got a lot of appeal in any of the vision that you have seen of this filly there online. You'll note one thing, too, that she really moves with purpose. Yep. Gets over the ground sweetly. 
Love the action. Neat, compact style of a filly. Gives every impression she'll get up and she'll go early. All racehorse, that is for sure there. That's why 302, the always be Mickey at a party major. The uh, next one to come in the ring is the down by the seaside Bay Colt out of Penny Ann. Um, the second foal, the first is Sweet Louis Ann. Louis Ann. What a nice name that is. Had a great family, isn't it? Yeah, well, of course, this is the old Mick Lombardo mm. uh, family, isn't it, too? That fine producing family of Misty Maiden, who Mick had so much success with, the old white with the red Maltese cross, the family of the Group 1 champion of his time in Lombo Pop pocket watch which cap, uh, captivated the, uh, the the nation with the, the winning streak that he went on and the very good cold in in uh, suave Stewie Lombo as well. So it's only the second foal from a half sister to five winners but again uh, very well built, good strong muscle bone style of an individual he is. Throws a stamp down by the seaside that is like 303 the Colt out of Penny and we now have lot number 304 the father Patrick out of Peregrine Phoenix um, again, it's saying that Phoenix family is just a brand family, isn't it? Well, we've mentioned it a fair bit, of course. There's uh, a lot of daughters that have gone on and now producing out of the family as well. And, and again, y you look at the quality of this cult here. He's got really good length and style about him as well. He's from one of the uh, hottest trotting families in the nation today with the deeds of RC Phoenix, of course. Um, I don't think there's a lot of guesswork. You've got a world-class sire and father, Patrick, the first fold out of a an eight-time winning daughter of Muscle Hill who was group one place. So you've got a pedigree there, both sides of it, really. And there's no reason to suggest here this colt won't make the grade himself when he hits the racetrack. No, beautiful colt, beautifully turned out by the team at Ben Stud. That is lot mm. number 304, the father, Patrick, at a Perrigan Phoenix. Lot number 305. There's going to be a lot of people looking at this filly. The better's delight, um, Philly, at a perfect sense. I'll let you go with this family. Kraken family, Kraken type. Have a look at her walk out there now, mate. Yeah, better's delight out of a gold-placed uh, art major mare. Very good, Philly. Perfect sense, of course. She won over 140,000. It's the pedigree that produced the winner of the Australasian Breeders' Crown Major Delight, of course, was bred exactly the same way. And the dam herself, wonderful juvenile, one nine, placed at group one level twice, a half sister to the uh, Oaks winner of last year here in Victoria in Sweet Bella. So you can't get much more current than that. And uh, a sister, this um, filly to the two-year-old winner in high on a hill. But by the all-conquering better's delight, no more needs to be said. Bred the right way. 2,400 winners, fast approaching for better's delight. You don't the backside have to say, on that filly. Yeah, you, you can say that about a horse. You don't get into trouble. That is lot number mm. 305. The better's delight out of perfect sense. A filly beautifully turned out for Durham Park. Lot 306. This is the better's delight. Um, Bay filly. Uh, sorry, Colt. Colt out of Picabello. Um, um, heart making this also half to interest free. A great little family here, yeah, Maka, that's for sure. 52 3, daughter of Christian Cullen here by Betters, of course. Got the right colouring, got the, light, the right make, the, the shape. The second last of the Betters Delight Colts that will be offered in the yep. sale ring here tomorrow. A colt that carries that magical millionaire's cross. None better than a Betters over a Christian Cullen. You can just go and bank the check, can't you? Yes. Normally. Half brother to the classy two and three year old interest free, as you can see there, 115, and placed in a Victoria. Derby, no less than behind. Leap to fame. Leap oh, to fame. He was in the same year as Catchaway. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, You'd be dead stiff, wouldn't you, running, <laughs> <laughs> yep. running into leap to fame. Absolutely. And he's over in Western Australia. That's like 306. Yep. The better's delight out of Picabello, a bay colt, or brown colt, I'll actually say. Here's another one for a lot of people. Here's a unique opportunity. I said about Love You. This is a, the third of the colts being offered up in this sale out of the champion mare in Pizza Queen. 128 wins, 10 wins, but bloodlines in America. But this is a really, really unique opportunity from our Rasta. Trotters and Yabby Dam Farms. Well, you'll be buying him by the kilo. <laughs> that's for sure. Big, big boy. Light on his feet, though, with the videos. He just dropped. Yeah, it does. Does indeed. But, of course, by the all-conquering Love You. What an impact. What a pronounced impact Love You has had on the breeding industry internationally. And uh, side so, so many quality winners um, around the globe. Uh, just the second file from the New South Wales Oaks winner, Pizza Queen. And you'd like to get a slice of this cult. Yep, that's lot number three. Half sister to Savorium. Half, uh, lot, lot number 307, the Love You at a Pizza Queen cult. Lot number 308, this is a rock and roll heaven. Of course, a sire of expensive ego to say a few. Out of Playball. Um, what a family this family is for Dennis Howe. 
Yeah, look at the black type there. Look at the type black, of... Uh, the black type horse too. Black type horse indeed. A half brother to a Group 1 Super Series winning three-year-old in out to play. A half uh, to um, the Breeders' Crown winner, the, the Pantheist, to the Dam of the Pantheist. Uh, she's a half to major select, of course. The Derby winner up in New South Wales. And again, you can only but squeeze two generations onto the catalogue page. But a beautiful colt. Look at him walking. Just Absolutely a elegant. This colt. dude is his class. Family of a Crown Derby and Super Series winner as well. You can't ask for much more than that. And by expensive ego, let it ride. Swayze, same sire. Don't forget we do have best presented to you today as well. When we finish the parade later on, we'll be presenting those. Um, I think we're actually having a, a change over here, which has worked out beautifully as Emily does a, another lap, um, Emily Hale. So thank you very much and well done to the guys at Matter Anchor Palms. And Wingate coming down from Wagga. Um, it's a little bit of a drive, they tell me, Mark Barton, isn't it? Uh, to go down from there, that's for sure. Not that far, mate. A lot of good horses down there, mate. Uh, pity about the people. Lot number 310 is the next in here. This is the Art Major Colt out of Precious Stride. She herself was a Sunbeach Somewhere mare. Yeah, lovely filly again. A, a lovely cold there, as you can see, there out of that um, Sunbeach mare, like you say. This is the first foal and done a wonderful job there, as you can see. The second dam, a precocious stride, has now um, got Bravo stride as an update. The treacherous has now had five wins. So you've got a, uh, a current family, a bit of an update there, and doing a wonderful job there. The pick, first on type, pick on type, you look up, if you're reading the pedigree while you're watching the video, look up and have a look at this colt, because he is a cracker. And I was going to say, not too many opportunities to get the art majors this year, so here's one of them, and a really nice type there for you too. You want to go through? Oh, okay, uh, we just might have a, can we get some guys just to help? Just We've got a, yep, we'll send Cal, keep going through. We've just got trouble with one that won't go into the, go out into the parade ring. So thank you very much, Kel. She's doing a pretty good job, Alibar. Geez, they've presented their horses beautifully, Alibar. Great supporters of Nutrien, that's for sure. And look, you, you look at this fellow, how he just gets over the ground. They're beautiful on his feet. And I'll tell you what, a horse, once we finish the parade, I think you will find too, a little bit of finger food is going to get put around here soon. So those Don't. people outside and inside will uh, have a few refreshments there shortly. But um, With a thanks great to job the guys to, at Woodlands. Yeah, thank you. Exactly what I was going to say. Thank you to the team at Woodlands for uh, supporting us yet again with the uh, with this uh, this parade here this afternoon. Another colt that people will be wanting to look at, of course. This is the Better's Delight colt out of Queen of Pop. Better's Delight, the sire of Bowtide. Another name that uh, just a little bit of Bowtide looking about it with this horse here, Queen of Pop. What a family, Mark. Yeah, it needs absolutely no introduction. You've got Just Hope again through that family, of course. Was a, 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 a was second, or was the uh, winner and uh, winner of the Gold Tiara too, that Group 1 race as a, as a juvenile. So you've got juvenile winners in the family. But as you go back through Chart Topper, back through that, uh, that family there, Rip, um, sure thing, Captain, now an update with 146,000. Um, has also had the... Uh, uh, had an update there in a group race here only the other day. Yep, um, a really great family chart topper. Done it proud, but well presented, well turned out. Thank you very much to the team at Lauriston as well for supporting as well as um, Lower Long Farms. And not to forget that you got the same cross as Leap to Fame. So it's a proven cross and a, and a lovely horse to boot. Lot number 313, I believe, is about to come into the ring. It is. This is the Ride High um, Colt. Again, another $12,000 Vic Bread first win bonus out of Quick Jet, um, a beautiful producing mare. Yeah, well, Quick, Quick Jet, since we went to print, is now updated with three to the races now and all of one. So Long Weekend is now an update uh, with 10 wins in the USA, now 211000 And you've got Dare Dare to, Dare to Do's now winner and also Quick Crunch. The other uh, Captain Crunch has now been named the last filly. Uh, so you've got a current family, all winners of... Uh, all three that have gone to the track of one and an update there again with that uh, that last filly uh, has now been named also yeah and a beautifully presented horse that's for sure don't forget twelve thousand dollar first win bonus um and it can be a two three or four year old you'll get that twelve thousand first win bonus like 213 this is a ride high colt out of quick jet we've got lot number 200 317 this is the angus hall out of redneck colt of course angus hall's had 111 australian and new zealand winners headed up by clive valley cliche that was bred by the guys at staffordshire farm so they know a little bit about it out of redneck the dam of four winners mark yeah and goes back to a wonderful family there the sergeant's now an update with twenty three thousand dollars on the track and you go back through that third demo game, Mary, uh, that Sun Donna has had six of the uh, races, including Mary Time, Mary Law, Happy Mary. So a wonderful family there again. And again, have a look into the, uh, the ring. You'll see just an outstanding type, a wonderful type. And like we say, the, uh, the Pengrazios keep those great mares that they've raced themselves so they know what to predict. Yeah, absolutely. A very, very strong looking horse. And uh, you know, as I say, they know, they know the cross. 
that's there's no no mistakes why he done it. He's even giving me the good look there. Don't worry about that. That's Neville Pangrazio. I'm going to say 317. The Angus Hall out of Redneck Colt. Now I think we're in for a bit of a treat I'm here. I'm going to say this is a rare one. For this us. is uh, sit up and have a look here because here's a Colt, as they say. Here's a Colt. Uh, then we got lot number 316. This is the ride high out of Red Hot Re Roxy, led by Brett Coffey. Something we don't get to see every day, that's for no, sure. That is, um, we did, he did say he was more than just a pretty face, and he's only just trying to prove that to us. I we, think better more, be, but we better clarify. It is a filly. I was taking a little bit of Mickey out of the, the person leading the no, horse. But out of Red, Red, Hot, Red Hot Roxy and a Sunbeach somewhere. And I'm going to say he's got the he's got the Nikes on too, has he? The Alabar wheels on. There, but again, yeah, it's out of a great mare, as you can see. An update there now. Quinton is now up, uh, up to over 8,000. Rocket City is now eight winners. Princess Major, go around again. We want to give him three or four laps. He, he, there's a bit of look at me about him. We're doing another lap. It'll be interesting. It's going to be interesting if we can get him out. Can someone? We might need, we might need a roadblock here. He's, yeah, the uh, only, the, the only you, thing you want to know, if you can get the horse to the track and might not worry about the handler, you will get $12,000 well, for no, a first Brett might win. be able to run with it out onto the track. If you could go to the straight ahead, Brett, if you could keep going. Brett, oh, no, Brett, you want to do that Brett's as well. prepared to pre-train this one too, he said. <laughs> That's lot number 316, the lovely ride high. Lovely high, ride high filly there. Red Hawk, Red Hawk Roxy filly. Great lot to see you working, Brett. Lot number 318, we now have the Sky Valley. What a horse he's been for Elder Baron Farms. Yeah. And this is out of Regal Pepperell, a great filly. This is a beautiful we presented colt, that's for sure. I'm going to say there's a reason he's here. They just keep producing, don't they? The Sky watch, Valley. Watch his video too. I watched watch, it last night. He he, can he's, a, he's a lovely, lovely trotting um, trotting example. A beautiful big colt there. And you're going a bit light on his feet there. It does I know when you see those run-ups, he did do a lovely, lovely job. Big but Dunk's you, here too. He's made the trip. Well, hello to you, Dunk, over the back there. He's he's but, finally got here from the Red Eye, I think, from <laughs> New Zealand last night. <laughs> I, I'm going to say he'd have to be proud of the job the other team at Alderbaran have done. Turned out a wonderful team of horses. And um, here again, just a really great example of Sky Valley. But again, out of a good family, they're a, uh, again a group winning family. Yeah, beautifully presented Colt. She was a ripper over Eagle Pepper, won $102,000 in stakes. We're now um, just uh, as he just goes out, and he's about to. Um, we've now got lot number, uh, just waiting for this to turn over for me, lot number 320, the Captain Treacherous out of Rapellum. Now, there's an update to this family too, because I think there was another winner last night out King, of this family. Yeah, King Rapellier yep, won, won last night. night and yep, I was on to that. 154, was that I was, right? I was on to that last night. He went 154 um, yeah. last night. Uh, Rapellum has had four foals, four to race, three winners, headed up by Joanna and Rapellum, but also King Rapellum winner last night at Melton and a very, very stylish win. That is for sure. That is the Colt uh, by Captain Treacherous. And what a job Captain Treacherous has done. And what beautifully presented Colt we've got here as well, Mark. Well, like we said, there's not too many opportunities to get a Treacherous this year. There's uh, there's only a, a sprinkling through the catalogue here. But here one out of Rapellum again, a, a consistent racehorse mare herself. But uh, again, she's now had four of the races and three of those are winners. The uh, the last one that, oh, now it's actually four winners there, King Rapellier. So yep. that makes it four from four, that latest update. So again, a, a lovely horse. No, that's, it is indeed. Lot 321 is the filly by Majestic Sun, uh, the sire of Oscar Bonavino, who stepped out last night out of Elder Baron. Revenue, I will go with six foals, four to race, four winners, headed up by Keying Ignite. He's only had seven wins. He's a superstar, Keying Ignite. He has a lot of issues, but he is a really, really seriously good horse. Yeah, well, you've got your yeah, revenues the way I do it. But again, you're four from four. The mayor is producing. Uh, Ignite's done a wonderful job. But as you can see with that update, Alderbar and Poppy, Alderbar and Boyd, and uh, Kai Valley, uh, Helen again, all uh, all winners on the track. So again, a, a wonderful producing family. But I tell you what, right down the page, uh, you go to Rebel Stroke there again, a, a big update there too. So $174,000 in earnings. And that uh, was second there in that uh, in the Lynn McPherson Memorial at Group 2 there the other day. Yep, that's lot number 321, the Majestic Sun out of Alderbar and revenue I'll go with then if it's not revenue so, oh, so revenue. 322 another of the American ideals of course this parade sponsored by Woodlands this is out of Rock and Roll Chapel this is a filly um, and a beautifully turned out filly here for Grand Lodge and again it's 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 always sad to see the passings of a great side but again leaving a stamp doing a wonderful job these um if you haven't got a, a an ideal mare in your in your brood mares, there's an opportunity to race one first come back for the incentives here and then you've got a, a horse that you can go on and have a lot of fun with in the brood mare paddock 
later. But again, a really, really typey filly here, I thought. One that you uh, you want to go and have a look at with a rock and roll heaven, better still I cross on the bottom side. But again, Vic, Vic Red Platinum as well. Yeah, and because she won $164,000 in stakes herself, 14 wins. was a great horse for Joe Pace. And Joe's, um, no secret, he's a colt man. He likes his colts, so that's the reason his horse of sale. Lot number 322, the American Ideal, rock and roll, chapel, filly. Lot number 323 we're going with now. This is the um, Lazarus, of course, the sire of Nathan Street, who's won $150,000 in stakes um, out of Rock and Tammy. This is a filly for Durham Park. Yeah, and you've got an update again there. You've got... Um uh, delightful Tammy now over $100,000 and you've also got General Rocker has now been named the Art Major Colt out of the mare but again most importantly have a look you've got a Lazarus filly there and again look at the type there you've got a wonderful racy type uh, she's a, a real standout on type there for mine and a rare chance to get yourself a Lazarus filly. And of course this horse is a three quarter too Delightful Tammy because Delightful Tammy being by Better's Delight and uh, Lazarus the son of Better's Delight um, yeah and 148.6 what a champion horse he was himself Lazarus. And, and just update there it is a Vic Bread Platinum not pure this one big yep. bread platinum, platinum there ladies 323 and gentlemen. we have got lot number 324 coming into the parade now the down by the seaside of the rock and roll magic um what a family bardo well look now what is it now hughes he'll tell us if we're wrong but it's 80 80 odd winners Four. now for 84. 84 winners now for uh, down by the seaside and i know they've thought a lot of them but gee look again 88 88. 88 since we got the print out a couple of days ago. <laughs> 80, 80. It'll be 90. No, the couple just you, went stay, ran, Don't ran have a conversation the with them. Two, two foals, one winner. Um, group one winners, 166,000 in stakes. It's just an amazing family rock and roll magic, what she was able to do. Yeah, and uh, you've now got the uh, the letter roll as the, uh, the sweet Lou Philly, the latest, uh, latest of her uh, progeny has now been named also. You've got a uh, an update there with Best Deal, the American Ideal that goes down through Celebrity Ball. So, again, really powerful uh, pedigree on the bottom side. But again, a lovely seaside out of rock and roll heaven, live or die. So good cross. Beautifully turned out too there by Ben Studd. Standard Bridge, 324, that horse was. Now, we've got lot number 325. Now, this is a gelding, be aware. It's a gelding by Always Be Mickey out of Ruby Slippers. Um, and I'm on my own. This is uh, half to Polly Peacham, the winner of 13, 000, uh, 13 wins, sorry, and fast approaching $100,000 in stakes. And also Layden. Also, it's had seven wins himself. Cetera's time so far of 154. He's a chance of going quicker than that because he's an exceptionally fast horse. And it traces back to that Mother Courage family. This is the gelding presented for uh, Kirsten and Gary Graham. Um, always be Mickey out of Ruby Slippers. Be aware that he is a gelding. Yep. He is Vic Bread Platinum eligible. Just looking over Dane's shoulder there as we go along. And a couple of updates there, as I said. 13 wins for Polly Peacham. And seven for Layden. Don't you worry, you can have this one off. I'll go, I'll carry you. It's okay. We'll we'll start off with the next one, Dane. We'll be fine there. I think we're going to go right through to about 320. I'm just waiting. Six. 326. This is Captain Crunch out of Rushton. This is a filly I'm going to ask you to do a little bit for me here, Dane. Thank you. Happy to help, Paul. I help more than I hinder, I hope so anyway. Uh, 326 here, yeah, the Captain Crunch filly there. As you can see, rushed on the dam. Uh, second dam here, um, uh, second dam bred mice, uh, spiritual king there, 253,033 race wins. A lovely filly in the uh, half is being prepped for the nutrient race in Queensland, I hear. Uh, through the uh, pedigree there, Star of Tara, 15 race wins, over 100, right on with it. Third dam was Star of Bethlehem, bred Stars and Stripes, the uh, pacer, the uh, New Zealand pacer of the year, New Zealand three-year-old pacer of the year, and Australian three-year-old pacer of the year. A lovely Captain Crunch filly here from Ben Studd. Beautifully turned out as well. That's lot 326. Captain Crunch, Rushton filly. Lot 327. I think this is the last of the Harassed Trotters. Uh, draft. This is another of the Claxton connections. Of course, 10 of them being offered up by Harassed Trotters and one for Duncan McPherson. This is out of St. Etienne. This is a colt. What a cracking colt this is. Don't worry about looking at the pedigree page. Have a look at the build on this horse, the strength about him. It is an absolute cracker. I've been fortunate enough to film him twice and he's a beautiful horse. Yeah, real powerhouse here and a, uh, a well-bred colt to the, the dam here uh, by Orlando VC. Uh, second dam bred Parisian Amour who won six. Iron Love has now won eight. Check your updates and, uh, and see almost 60,000. Also Shaq the Anvil, two three hour wins in 2023. By Classic Connection out of an Orlando VC uh, man. This is a, a really lovely cult from uh, Yabby Dams. 
Uh, good, good natured Colton. Uh, really he covers the ground really nice. Easy going fella. He's a lovely type. Beautiful, lovely presented horse. That is like number 327. Um, as I said, classic connection out of St. Etienne. We have got lot number 328 has now come into the ring. Another of the American ideals, unfortunately not with us. Of course, the sire of Mag Magnificent Storm. I have this one ready for Macca. Um, at a secret agenda, this is a cult. Yeah, nice cult here. And the the dam has had uh, two winners there. And check your updates again. Sweet Agenda has now won four. Uh, and over 30,000. The villain has now qualified also. Another half to this very lot. Second dam was Secret Life. She bred some champions in Major Secret. We won 22, Beauty Secret with 24 on the board and uh, plenty of money there. 26 winners bred on this very cross. But a, a well-presented cult by, uh, by American Ideal and out of a, a really, really good, relevant, uh, well-producing dam. It's a, it's a real relevant family. It's a now family. That's exactly right. That's the part about it. That is like 328, the American Ideal out of Secret Agenda, the cult uh, there for uh, the Langs. Thank you very much. And Lang Stars. We have got 329 now in the parade. This is a rock and roll heaven out of. She's a cool lady. Um, yeah, two foals, won the race, won the win. Good family, too, though, this family. That's a shame. Yeah, sure. another good family. Plenty of dollars here. The ha half to He's a Cool Match, who's won 752000 now. Second dam, bred Aleppo Lady. Went on there. She's an angel, Sky Tower. You look down through the pedigree. Fire, rock and fire. Rock, rock, fire, roll. <laughs> has won 14 now and 174,000. Another update. Fire, rock, fire, roll. Aussie Comes off the tongue a lot easier. We know what it is, doesn't it? <laughs> Aussie Scooter has won 18 and 174 and full real life. Now with 12 on the board. $400,000 earners bred on this very cross. Out the dam and she's a cool lady by Rock and Roll Heaven. That's the Bay Philly there. Lot 329. We now have lot number 330 come into you. This is the only six pack in the sale. He's the oldest of yearlings here in Australia and New Zealand. He was a 149.2 trotter himself. This is out of the champion mare, two and three year old of a year. She's an image. What a cult this is. A lot of people are going to be checking this one out. Oh, he'll tick a lot of boxes, this cult. Out of a really super dam who won 20 from Australia, three year old trotter of the year. Australian two-year-old trot of the year has bred Eva's image who's now won 13 and 154,000 he's a hammer builder Bob uh, out of a crop of four this is the only cult offered by six-pack world record holder the first three-year-old trotter as Paul said to break 150 good damn and I tell you what she's really produced the goods here one to certainly well worth a look. The 330 cult by six pack, so a great sire, but the dam, so, so relevant. Uh, did well on the track herself, and, and she's bred the house down there with Eva, Eva's image. He's a hammer, builder Bob. Really, really impressive cult that I think will, will should be out of the box plenty over the next day or so. Six pack, I've got no audio now. I've got my audio, we're all good to, <laughs> good to go. Um, out of she's an image lot number 330 um, going through there. Now we have lot number 331. No, we don't. Yes, we do. 331. This is a Captain Crunch out of she's a killer queen. Um, this is a Bay Colt uh, for Alabar Farm. Yeah, out of a rock and roll heaven daughter, she's a killer queen. She won nine has now uh, and, and has bred on to have a winner in Mac Assassin who's now won eight. Check your updates there. Over 70,000 in the bank. One at Redcliffe on the 10th of April. That's the half to this very lot. That was Mac Assassin. Check your updates there. Well worth uh, keeping in touch with that. But 331 Culp by Captain Crunch out of the dam. She's a killer queen. Lovely young Culp, well presented. And it covers the ground nicely. A nice easy going chap. Then, uh, well Plenty of life there. Well turned out by the team at Alabar, that is for sure. Lot 331. Uh, the next one to come into the ring is lot 332. This is the Sky Valley. Oh, Simone de Beauvoir will go with. How did I, have you been told any different? I'll just listen to you, mate. <laughs> lot 332. Uh, Simone de Beauvoir, they love you, Mayor. This is a beautiful cult, though. Yeah, well-bred mare. Um, going back to love you on the uh, bottom side of the pedigree. This is her first foal. Second dam, bred the half to the dam, uh, uh, bred the halves to this dam in Lady in the Sky, who won seven. Aladdin Sane also on the page with 11 wins and over 80,000. By Sky Valley, a lovely cult there out of a uh, love you mare. Yep. You're looking at lot 332 from Rampant. Yep. Sky Valley, of course, the sire of Majestuoso. What a great little trotter he was. As well, we have gone to lot 333. Three, three. This is a Tall Dark Stranger, because Tall Dark Stranger being a son of Better Salida, 147.2 horse himself. 
out of Sinead, um, the Lombo Lafifi family, lovely colt. Yeah, lovely colt. Had him out of the box yesterday. He, he, he stood a good inspection. He's uh, a really lovely travelling, just a really easy going colt. Travels nice with a lovely relaxed gait. Big strong colt, plenty of, covers plenty of ground. Uh, first dam won four. Uh, second dam was Paris Player, who bred nine winners in... Uh, Elysee's Crest, who won nine. Lombo La Paris, 112,000. Lombo La Fifi there as well, with 650,000. A former Australian two-year-old pacer of the year and four-year-old pacing mare of the year. Lombo Mini Lamouche. Bonsell Benjamin won the Inter Dominion. You've got Raw for Roscoe. It is a great family, that's for sure. This is lot number... 333. Hello to Shawnee. Uh, this is lot 333. This is the uh, Tall Dark Stranger at a Sinead. The next one is going to have a lot of people looking because this is a great family of producer of so many good horses here. This is lot 334. The Tall Dark Stranger Colt out of Slip Slop Slap for you, Dano. Slip Slop Slap. She's done eight. She's bred 10 winners, in fact, and some big names here in Jillaby Kung Fu. 119 now. 579,000. So relevant. The halves are still winning. There's red all over the page here. Albie Two Chains, a half to this lot again, who's now won eight and over 121,000. Also down the page, Soho The Real Deal has now had a two year old win in 2024. So winning currently, winning well, and, and winning as two year olds. A, by the new season, Sire in Tall Dark Stranger. A cult little stand, a really, really uh, a good inspection with a, uh, a, a good mare line here in the perfect. Perfect uh, dam there in Slip Slop Slap who has real done a hell of a goer job. too. When you look at him, he's just a dead set going horse. Like he he looks apart, that's for sure. Two like three three four, the tall dark stranger at a slip slop slap. We've got lot number 335 about to come in. Kelly's bringing it in now. The rock and roll heaven out of a smiling stunner. This is a, a filly that traces back to the Black, Black Marie family. And it's good that Kel's walking it because she's a smiling stunner. <laughs> <laughs> they both are. But, you know, really nice swagger about this filly. Uh, a dam that has, uh, has uh, bred a few there. The second dam, Black Marie, New Zealand mare there, as you can see. Has, uh, has bred three $100,000 earners. Lorella there, as you can see. Express Stride, so a good family. 37 winners bred on the cross. Seven $100,000 earners, including the 2023 New Zealand Cup winner in Swazi. He wanted, really, to, say, really he wanted nice. to say he wanted to say hello too. Like 335, the rock and roll heaven. Smiling stunner, Philly. I said he, but I meant she. Uh, the next one we have to come through is lot 336. This is a poster boy. What a job poster boy's done. Uh, two winners at Bathurst, the, uh, Ballarat, sorry, the other night at a Soho Champagne. Uh, what a job she's done as well in the, in the dams at the maternal line. I'm going, no, good, Dane. Get me out of trouble. <laughs> really good maternal line here. A half to Soho Angel, who's won 10, almost 170. Really produ well producing mare, Soho Champagne, the dam here, of course, going back to Arts Place. Also, another half, and uh, Soho Angel went on to a breed Soho Honey Rider, who's now won three and almost 100,000. So money in the pedigree and still coming in. Also, Soho Bollinger there, who won 10 there. Sergeant's now had seven wins down the page there. Eligible for all those incentives too. And a, a lovely poster boy filly. Really neat and complete filly. The lot 336 filly out of Soho Champagne. Becky's uh, smiling. She finally looked up. She's been very nervous as she's walking around, but she looked up there. That, uh, and of course, uh, poster boy had a great night the other night at the races. We have got lot number 337. Another colt a lot of people are going to be looking at. This is the Art Major colt out of Stay and Play. Goes back to that Playball family. We saw the colt go through before Feather House. What a family, but have a look at this colt. Hasn't he thrown to his dad? Oh, big, big strong colt by Art Major and out of a good dam here. Who's uh, had two winners in Spoon the Moon? Danger Play has now two as uh, one as a two year old there, as you can see, two wins on the board. But a, a really relevant pedigree. And what you've got is a, 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 a cult there that's really thrown to his sire and art major. Big upstanding cult covers a lot of ground, and he looks like he's ready to go now. The lot 337 cult by art major. Turned out beautifully by Ben Stud Standerbridge. Lot number 338 I'll go with um, before it turns out. I'll just better double check, but we should be right, I reckon. Uh, yep, 338. The Tall Dark Stranger out of Sugarland. This horse is a three-quarter in blood to Hurricane Harley. What a what an opportunity to buy a beautiful filly. We're very, very well-related filly. Oh, great, Paige. Half, uh, three-quarter, as you said, to Hurricane Harley, who's 
who has now won uh, 726,000. Recently retired too, Dane, so yeah, so you've uh, done a great job. Great page, and uh, by that new season siren, Tall Dark Strangers, really put a stamp on this one, and the, the dam here, uh, you know, a, a super brood mare, a Christian Cullen mare herself, uh, some some really uh, a great page, mafioso down the page out, uh, out of the second dam, 124, 606,000 with the Australian three-year-old pacer of the year. All the incentives, ladies and gentlemen, but that there is a filly you want to go and have a look at later. Get her out of the box. Lot 338, the tall, dark, stranger filly out of Sugarland. Yep, a beautiful filly for Lower Long Farms. Lower Long Farms again here now. Another uh, son of down by the seaside offered up here, of course. Down by the seaside now, the sire of 88 individual um, Australia and New Zealand winners. He's not listening. This is out of Swingham with Sierra. Great family, this family, Dane. A little curveball. This is the first colt that's been in this family for two generations. It's a unique opportunity with so many winners, and here you get a colt, uh, the first colt that uh, anyone's been able to purchase for a long time um, here. Yeah, a, a, a good family here and a, a, a very good page right right the way through, Paul. Uh, second Dan bred for winners, uh, Tango with Sierra, who has now won 15, waltzing with Sierra, dancing with Sierra, rocking with Sierra. Uh, third down was Twinkle Toes, who won 16, bred uh, Letter McNally there. But uh, an, an opportunity to uh, to uh, to purchase a cult, a seaside cult there out of a well-performed mare line going back to Art Major, the lot 339 cult. That is indeed the down by the seaside, swinging with Sierra for Lower Long Farms. 340, I reckon, is coming in now. We've got a... Mic change, you're onto it this time, you boys. You're not going bad here. You make a pit crew one day. This is, this is the uh, poster boy at Attacked Rousey. What a family we got here, headed up by Tack Tate. A, a, a terrific New Zealand family here, Macca. By the very, very exciting poster boy, who is really doing big things. He was a fabulous horse for the Andersons. On the racetrack, Derby winning son of some beat somewhere, all North American bred. And I just think doing a super, super job too at stud. And we're going to be hearing a lot more about Poster Boy, but out of a winning art major, Mir, who went 53 and 2 herself. So it's speed over speed. And it's a stunning filly, too. Good lengthy style of a filly. Dams a 53 2 winner, as I say, and a half sister to Tack Tate, who went 50 and 6 and won 29 races. Tick, tick, tick. Everywhere you look down lot, the catalogue. That's page. lot 340, the Poster Boy out of Tack Reality. 341. This is the. Help is on the way. Uh, chapter 7 horse, um, his oldest horse, progeny, our three-year-olds, out of Elder Baron Tucker. This is a colt offered up by Elder Baron Park. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how uh, the market tap to help is on the way. This colt here, he's well-grown, he's well-rounded. First foal, so she certainly put plenty into him as well. From a half-sister to a 55-2 and two winning three-year-old in Elder Baron walkabout. So... Look, there's enough there, uh, th th there's enough scope there to suggest here that there'll be some competition on this particular cult there tomorrow afternoon. My help is on the way. Closely related to Elder Baron Campbell, named yeah. after me. You didn't know that, did you? Well, but it's actually actually named after me, that horse. Well, so there you go. Well, hopefully is, uh, this lot, runs quicker Dun than you do. Duncan's looking over there. The Campbells are coming. <laughs> That's all we have to worry about. That's exactly right. That's like 341. Uh, the uh, help is on the Were way. Out of Elder Baron Tucker. You. Duncan is a Campbell as well, so that's why we get along so well. So it's all good. He's a couple of generations. Very Scottish. Sean, he's coming in to give me a hard time. We've got to keep him out there. <laughs> Here he is. Lot 342 in the parade ring now is the tall, dark stranger out of Tell Me Tales. What an opportunity to buy a filly out of a champion mare herself. Yeah, absolutely. 49 and 3. Fabulous, fabulous mare. Cracking three-year-old filly she was. Dual group one winner, 121. Uh, a filly by the superstar son of Better's Delight, tall, dark stranger who won everything, of course, in North America. The family of the New Zealand Oaks and uh, three-year-old filly of the year and smooth performer. So I'm sure that there's going to be a, a lot of competition there on this filly too from Granada Park. Great to have... Uh, Mrs. Head here with yes, us. Yes, she's sitting over there now. The Cap's sun. over there yeah, with her. And uh, yeah, great to see. She's standing up, actually, to watch her filly no, parade. she is too. And she looks fabulous. And so does this filly. Yep, like 342, the tall, dark stranger at a Tell Me Tales. Um, we've just got the next we've got the next one uh, coming into the parade ring here. This is lot 343. Dedications from some of these people. I think there's been a bit of a changeover with some netball and things going on with the Mileses. But this is a rock and roll heaven out of the perfect Mona. Great producing mare um, and a lovely turned out filly. Yeah, very well related filly too, of course, being a full to anything for love. Uh, 48 and 7. 
performer himself, Palais de Louvre. Um, so a host of good winners. What I like about this filly who is by a side who can really get a, a running type there is, is she's a really racy sort of a style of filly there too. She's compact, neat. Um, looks as though, you know, you take her to the breakers, get her going and Gee, there's enough there to suggest that she'll get up and get going. Your lovely neck. Look at that great definition of the shoulder. And it goes to that lovely rounded hind quarter as well. She's got everything in the right place. Well proportioned. Anything for love still winning in the States as we speak. That's a rock and roll heaven out of the perfect moment. Lot 343. Three. Lot 344. Have a look at this. Wow. Yeah. What a beautiful cut. And he's well named. Actually, that's right. He's he, might, he might have a different nickname at home, but the stunning one. And isn't he well named? He's a cracker, isn't he? Well, he's by poster boy, as I mentioned. Three Colts by poster boy, all unbeaten. We'll be going into the Alabar Bloodstock Nutrient Classic next week. Um, and this is just a showtime cult there. They've sold so well in WA. The top trainers were all over the poster boys. I think he could be the next big thing. I really do. Well, he's, doing, is, he's doing everything right at the minute. This is an athletic, striking cult. He looks every bit the two-year-old that you'd want to buy here in the sale ring tomorrow. Get to the breakers, get them going. Three-quarter brother to a winning two-year-old in the waiting. Three-quarter brother in blood to Phoenix Prince, who's a 52 winner of 19 races. But I tell you what, there won't be too many better looking horses in a set of harness. No, absolutely. He just walked in. Absolutely sensational. And, uh, Quality yeah, horse. Like 345. This is the Captain Crunch. I said there before, he's had four individual winners here in Australia and New Zealand already. Out of the Vickers daughter. What a family this is. Already related to one winner. And it's just a cracking, cracking family, isn't it? Certainly is. Great New Zealand family of Stalin, Stalin Cullen. Half-brother to the good three-year-old. The Vicar of Dibley, of course. Good three-year-old. Uh, as mentioned there, from a half-sister to the uh, star New Zealander Stun and Cullen, uh, who won $1.5 million, Derby and Hunter Cup winner, and to the dam of uh, the 49 and 6 highest stakes winner, in It's All About Faith. Absolutely. Cracking Kiwi family, and uh, by Captain Crunch, this colt there too, well-grown colt he is. Plenty, of, plenty to like. The further you look back, like even horses like Yorkshire that have been over here for a long time, their longevity, the racing career, you can see this horse is going to go for a long time. That's for sure. You that's get like, bang for your buck, don't you, when you're blind to this family? Absolutely. Like 345. That is the. Um, I'm in trouble because I forgot what he, he was a uh, Captain Crunch out of the Vickers daughter. Yep. Lot 346, another horse that's going to be on a lot of people's radars. This is the Art Major Colt, the sire for a reason to name one but a few. Out of three Eagles, ten foals, ten winners, fly like an eagle at the top of the pops. Uh, another beautifully presented Colt. Well, he's out of a breeding gem, isn't he? There, He's yep. by an international superstar. He's a half-brother to the All-Stars, four-time Group 1 winning New Zealand to fly like an eagle, as you've touched upon, Cambo. Uh, brilliant two-year-old. I take the easy stuff. You do. <laughs> <laughs> you pick the eyes out of it. Uh, brilliant two-year-old classic winning three-year-old. A prolific winning uh, brothers in MacDoro who broke 50. 149 no less to date. Higher than an eagle. There's 132 so far. But when they go to the breeding barn and they can leave 10 for 10, well, yep. they're just they're just those great Pre hens, aren't they? Precocious colt, that's for sure. That Stunning is, um, colt he is. Lot number 347 is the next one in. This is for Sally Burgess, who uh, anyone that deals with Alabar would know Sally very, very well. This is the Always Be Mickey filly out of Funder Cookie. Again, I think wow. this is a filly there that just possesses that X factor. Wow. It's yeah. just got class. It just oozes quality there. It, uh, is it by a sire who stamps a very good filly, like taking the Mickey uh, for one, um, but he can really put his thumbprint on them and from a, a sister to the uh, uh, to stylish Jasper is 115 of course uh, nice filly and yep. to the dam of the multiple group one winner in shadow sacks but gee I tell you what there's just something about the her that yep. uh, all the discerning buyers will want to have a look at I was just watching Sally over there she was a proud mum then videoing her child as she was walking around don't you worry about that well done to you Sal good yeah, luck tomorrow all the best Sal lot 348 this is a, another of the Sweet Lou Colts a 200 individual Australian winners. If I get it wrong, I'll be in trouble. Um, that's for sure. This is out of Topsy Delight, the Traveller Traveller family. An important update to this family with Miss Australia Liana winning the uh, heat of the uh, Nutrient Classic the other night at Ballarat. Second file only from a filly that won six. Half sister to six winners, including Ideal Lifestyle, who won no less than 25. And Gafaji, of course. Um, 
and uh, by Sweet Lou, who can just absolutely stamp them. Uh, Spirit of St. Louis, of course, just the, the absolute top of the totem pole when it comes to his cults. Yep. I'm just writing you a little note to ask me something about that, and I'll give you an update for tomorrow's sale. We have now got lot number 349 in the parade ring. This is a tall, dark stranger out of the New Zealand family. Treasure me. I don't know where to start. You can do the rest. I, I won't do any picking the eyes I, out of this. I just don't know even know how to start but by a superstar the son of better's delight tall dark stranger one of the best credentialed sires to have progeny to be sold down here in the southern hemisphere uh, they sold off the charts in north america um, it's of course a half to my ultimate barney we know the talent of this emerging youngster but of course treasure me the dam uh, the sister to treasure me top our sydney sale 230,000, that's the regard. Regally bred both sides of the pedigree by one of the best bred stallions to have gone to stud from one of North America's most renowned families, famed New Zealand family of Skiers Me, Merlin's family, Christian Me's family. And you talk about Merlin out of this family. Merlin's by Art, Art Major. Of course, yep. Tall Dark Stranger brings that Art Major into it. You've got better delights in there. Well, ha we have faith better in me. me. Ticks every box, adore me. That mean line is outstanding. I said before about Sally Burgess, Kath McIntosh, she's over there sort of rolling her fingers and ticking. She's got uh, a lot going on. He's even brought Helen out. Hello, H. Good to see you here and uh, in the flesh as well. So uh, beautifully presented Colt there. That's lot 349. This, this Colt might be towards the end of the day, but I reckon the auditorium will be absolutely Keep. heaving by the time it gets there. Absolutely. Uh, that's a tall, dark stranger out of Treasure Me, lot 349. Back Dane, you got to take those no. things off for me because yep. I'll have to do this one on my own. We have got lot number uh, 350 in the straight in here. This is the tall dark stranger Colt at a trendy Bromac. Dane, you're right to go. Got looks yeah, well trend. changed. Trendy uh, trendy Bromac 17, 58,000 there. But a you know that new season style and, and produced a good product here in in this Colt uh, by tall dark stranger Mac three bred dam. Second dam, uh, bred Tasman Bromac, who won 14. Taruna Bromac, 16 wins there. Shy Devil, uh, third dam there with 10 on the board. But, uh, you know, really well put together by Colt uh, by the new season sire. Impressive and ready to go from Hampton Farms out of the dam in Trendy Bromac. Lot 350. The Tall Dark Stranger out of Trendy Bromac. Well done to you. Lot 351, we have got the poster boy, um, Philly. This is, who be offered up here. This is a, out of Trojan Fire. Of course, uh, poster boy eligible for the $12,000 first win bonus. If our man on the gate would concentrate, we would have been away a little bit quicker <laughs> then. Um, but he might be talking pool with his mate just up the side there, a little bit further on. But this is um, a lovely presented horse here by poster boy. Yeah, a, a really nice... Uh um, poster boy here, uh, you know, a, a smaller horse, but from a really, really good family, as you can see. Half to Concealment, who's won 14 now. This dam has bred uh, five winners and halves to this lot. Concealment won over 100,000. Fleetwood Rock, now uh, 14 wins and 100,000 on the board. Lanning has now had a four-year-old win down the page. The check your updates again. Out of a uh, good family, second dam was Gem Fire, 113 and over 100,000. Vic Bed Pure also. So Vic Bread Pure, the 12K win bonus there. A really good family and a, a really good relevant new sire there in Poster Boy. A lovely filly, the 351 filly. Of course, Poster Boy has um, had four, four individual winners so far this season and uh, they are all unbeaten just at the minute. But uh, two, three of those taking out heats of the Nutrient Classic, which is super exciting for Nutrient. Um, and everyone concerned and eligible for the $12,000 first win bonus. Lot 351, the Poster Boy filly at a Trojan fire who doesn't want to leave us she didn't want to come in and now she doesn't want to leave she's away radio we all now welcome we've only got a handful left ladies and gentlemen then we'll have the the uh, best presented mark hughes will be joining me very shortly as well but we have got lot 354 this is a down by the seaside filly what a filly uh coastal babe is of course by down by the seaside out of vampish hanover lovely filly here dane yeah lovely type uh presented so well but you know structurally a really sound correct filly there out of the, the dam there in Vampish, Hanover won six there. Uh, second dam was Vixen Han Hanover, who won 20 and has bred four winners in Aguante Major Vinny, just to name a few. But, uh, you know, a, a, a good siren out of a, a good mare here in uh, in um, the life sign mare in Vampish, Hanover. But uh, a seaside filly that really presents well and I think well worth a look.
Yeah, it does. Presents beautifully. And, of course, Seaside. Uh, Artie by the Seaside and also Coastal Bay. Great fillies, both by down by the Seaside. And uh, this is a real get-up-and-go filly here, lot number 354 for Gelthorne Farms. Good to see Gary over there keeping Craig Judd company, but they're not going to listen to me either of them, so it's okay. Lot 355, the only fear, the dragon in the sale. Um, out of a great family, this is the Vegas Diamond Colt. Um, uh, for Lauriston Park. What a beautiful family. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, ticks a lot of boxes here and a, a great uh, a great paid. Second down was Yankee Showgirl. She won four, bred school captain, Tennessee Waltz. That's where it gets interesting. Third down, Aston Villa. She bred three $100,000 earners, including Yankee Rockstar, born to rock and roll, but the now sire in Poster Boy. So a great page and a relevant page. And, you know, there's, there's some great genetics on offer here in this Fear the Dragon cult. And for Captain Treacherous, uh, bred dam there, Vegas Diamond. So a lot of opportunity here and a, a, a well-presented cult with a great page. And as you said, Paul, the only Fear the Dragon in the sale. Well, great to see everyone here enjoying the hospitality from Woodland Stud with the uh, parade. And uh, unfortunately, none's coming our way. That's like 355, Fear the Dragon, Vegas Diamond. I'm going to say this is nearly the second last horse, I think, to parade by the looks. This is going to be the ride high at a Village Witch. This is a Philly Village Witch contested the Inter Dominion back here in Melbourne. And uh, I think a lot of people forget that, what a great horse she was. She ran second in the constellation um, of that, the third foal out of her. And, of course, eligible for the $12,000 first win bonus. Oh, yeah, uh, that, that $12,000 bonus, so, so uh, attractive there. But a, a dam that's well-performed in her own right. A, a, a uh, super dam there, the 124, as you said. Uh, the uh, One of the other halves there, Luna Witch, has now qualified also, so has now qualified. But uh, a great page and a, a really relevant, well-performed dam here. Good sire in, in the Art Major Sun in right high. And a, a well-presented filly, as always, uh, from the uh, from the team at Rhiannon Park. And... You know, really, Big really well done to Blanche as well. She's paraded them all. She's been out here on her own. I think she's got a great team back behind helping her as well. Don't worry, we'll look after them. But well done and beautifully turned out, I must say, even with the ribbons in the hair. Something I'd like to do, put a ribbon in my hair every now and then, but I don't think it's going to happen. So We might have to glue it on there. Uh, the uh, mo mohair singlet, that might be about the only place it'll go. Lot number 358. This, again, is a filly by Down by the Seaside. Of course, the sire of Artie by the Seaside. This one is out of Weeman Delight. She's had uh, one fold to the ra winning races, and that horse has been able to win. It has, yeah. 122, 3D Delight, the half to this very lot. Over 240,000 in earnings. So you've got a good family. The halves are winning here. And a, a really nice seaside filly here out of a better spread mare. It's, a, it's a, obviously a, a proven cross and the same cross as a 2023 New Zealand two-year-old pacing filly of the year in Coastal Babe. So very relevant. And seaside spread 84 Australian and New Zealand winners there, as you can see. Uh, uh, second dam, uh, Weeman Wendy May won nine. And Bred Stunning Girl, Weeman Sporty, Weeman Bella. All, all very good race winners there. So well presented, easy going seaside filly there in the lot 358 filly out of a better spread mare. And we must welcome Robert Williams as well to the to the Nutrient um, Sales. Thank you very much for joining us and uh, giving us the opportunity to sell his lovely filly. The last horse, this is the last horse to go through the hammer tomorrow um, on Sunday. Um, Grant, 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 Grant. Just uh, just one little trouble here. Sorry about that, but we just need a little bit of assistance to get this one out before we get the last one in. Can be a bit daunting sometimes for him, Dane, can't it? So get him out there. Definitely doesn't want to go under the hammer tomorrow. No. Um, Grant, take it out. I was going to say, Kirsten, you come through. Just go that way. We'll give Kirsten an extra lap. Kirsten, you keep coming around. We'll give you an extra lap because I know you enjoy walking. There's not a worry there, <laughs> there in the world. Of course, this is the last horse. This is another of the poster boys. 149-1 when he won the Chariots of Fire. Poster boy, what a great job he did that time. This is the Water Philly. This is the first foal um, out of this mare. And, of course, this will be the last horse to go under the hammer. Eligible for the $12,000 first win bonus. Yeah, first win bonus. Very attractive here. The, uh, the dam here was... What a filly. She bowed a tendon early, but from all reports, was a very, very fast filly herself. They had big wraps on her before she was injured. Uh, second dam, uh, what impact, won four. She's bred four winners. Miss Dangerfield, Flash, Jimmy, Galfrey, Mystique, Talia May. A really uh, a, an interesting, nice filly there. A, a poster boy, a new season relevant sire here, and produced the goods here in this lovely brown filly. Very easy going. Uh, a lovely stride on her, but a, a lovely poster boy filly there from uh, Gary and Melva Graham. Well presented. 
Yeah, absolutely. And we must make sure because no one wants to be last. No oh. one wants to go under the hammer last. So we want to make sure that everyone can see this. Uh, beautiful, as you said, beautiful turned out filly with great pe pedigrees all the way through. Um, there's Terry. We, we mentioned Chinchilla before and he's, he, he is back. But this is a beautiful filly. This is the last uh, horse to be offered up through the nutrient sale. Tomorrow will be the last yearling to go under the hammer in Australia uh, for the 2024 season. So make sure you're here and you're ready to go. That's lot number 359 for Gary and Melva Graham and Kirsten Graham leading it. Done a great job there. Uh, the poster boy out of Water Philly. Dane, you're off. But I might get you just to uh, put the microphone on Mr. Mark Hughes for me. Uh, I'm... I'm under it. I'm getting the. I'm getting the hurry up here in in Double a minute. Good. But um, just get you to jump back about here, Mark Hughes. He's going to going to join me. Um, right. This will be a bit interesting. Might send Grant over, please, if you don't mind, no, Mr. Carmichael. Somehow. You can have the glasses on. Doesn't matter. We're we're on live, so it's all good. Turn the bird dog off if you like, mate. Um, Mark, uh, sorry. You no, know, it's okay. Mark Hughes joins me. I'm getting getting a little bit going both ways. Firstly, thank you very much, Woodlands, for supporting the sale again, the, the parade again, and, and the sale, and, and and harness racing full stop. Yeah, look, Paul, uh, pleasure to be on board again for the third consecutive year. Um, when Bardo came to us um, three years ago, we um, were on board and we re reaffirmed our commitment to the parade here in Sydney and um, and Melbourne again. So um, yeah, look, we're we're happy to be on board as a uh, major sponsor right throughout the industry. Yep, and. Uh, Amazing, amazing parade. Wasn't yeah. there some types? There were some great types. Um, some stunning colts and um, some seriously good-looking fillies and some, some very, very, very nice trotters. You'll just have to turn it on. Sorry, trying to do later. Not now when they're ready, Granny. Uh, it's just good doing a microphone swap over there. Yeah, some beautiful fillies. Beautiful. There were some, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, look, a lot of those horses, you know, uh, surprisingly heading in towards winter have really held their condition well. Yeah, they have and uh, turned out immaculate. So the staff. It's great seeing people take pride in them. I mean, we, we see it all over the world. It's terrific to see it. Yeah, look, this is the ninth sale I've been to since the um, start of January, and um, the pride and uh, the hard work that goes in by everybody um, is still first class. Um, and the people can be proud of the work they've done. Um, I got into trouble there before because I didn't read your text message from yesterday very, very well. <laughs> Three, uh, 200 individual winners in Australia uh, for Sweet Lou now. And that's Australia, not Australia and New Zealand, yeah, it's Australia. That's Australian bred winners for Sweet Lou, Australian 201. Bred. So we had another winner at Newcastle last night. Wow. Australian bred winners, 201. Um, up for a grand total of uh, 447 individual winners down under. Unbelievable effort that that's uh, it's just great to watch that like it's he's doing an awesome job a couple of really really nice turned out horses here as well yeah, yeah there's um three or four uh, nice sweet lose here um and look we all know they'll, they'll certainly be very very well sought his book's full and close for next season already um three quarters done for the following season so uh yeah uh, down by the seaside, we're saying there before, since the the catalogue went to print, I think he had 52 winners. Since then, now he's had 84, 84... Yeah, that's, no, 88, um, 88. that's up to 88. So when the catalogue went to print back in um, December, 52, yep. up to 88. Brand new winner at Cambridge last night. Winner at Globe Derby through the week. Group 3 winner last Saturday at And, that, um, and has Addington. got a horse that may win a Group 1 today in Invercargill. It might be tomorrow morning, actually. Uh, tomorrow in Bacargo tomorrow, I think. Yeah, tomorrow so, yeah. morning, Group 1 down there. There's a couple of people that'll be eyeing that off. And, uh, yeah, he's got a really good opportunity. It's an exciting filly and he's got some nice horses in New Zealand. That's yeah, yeah, sure. he's got look, his um, presence in New Zealand's massive. And it'll be, um, there's two very big crops to come, mate, of his. So that's a scary thing for him. So, yeah. Um, unfortunately, American Ideal passed away earlier this season. The presentation on some of these horses here today. Uh, he's not going to be forgotten anytime soon, is he? No, no, look, he won't be forgotten. Um, ironically, anybody that's sold an American ideal over the journey has just been very good business at a yearling sale. Um, Jake Stockton's got a magnificent colt here by him. Um, Jamie Lee um, King has got a magnificent colt by him as well. Um, look, he's just... Anyone that's always bought an American ideal to a yearling sale has just been smart business. Um, Macca was saying there before, might actually shimmy this way, I'll get you in the, no, you come this way, you come to me, I'll get you in the middle of the camera, that's our camera right there, he's like, okay. um, Macca was saying there before, pretty much changed the shape of the West Australian Pacing Cup with all the winners that he was able to have right through, starting off with my hard copy and just continued all the way through. Yeah, look, his um, record in Western Australia as a sire has been quite phenomenal and um, 
My hard copy, uh, you know, so hope for Ibeka. Um, West Australian Pacing Cups have been his, um, you know, Fremantle Cups as well. Um, great presence at the Yearling Sales in Perth again this year. Um, and they've just done, they feasted on American Ideal, the West Australians. Yep, uh, yeah, they, they love them and um, just uh, does an awesome job. Uh, here we've got, um, what the hell, I think we had three or four, four, I'm not sure, but couple of crackers, a couple of strong fillies, especially the Elder Baron Park. Yeah, Elder Baron Park turned out a couple of nice ones. Um, and they look like their father. Um, yeah. Quite taken with the one that um, Hayley Lang's turned out yep. because it's a magnificent type, but it's obviously thrown to the uh, maternal side. Yep. Beautiful, correct walking filly. Yep. Um, so, yeah, look, he's um, leading three-year-old sire in New Zealand, leading four-year-old sire in the first two-year-old trot race in New Zealand for two-year-olds. Was at Addington on Thursday, and he sighed the first winner. So, as a sire, he's reasonably doing a well bred filly too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reasonably <laughs> Queen well bred. <laughs> Queen Alita's little sister. And, uh, um, Queen Alita's little half sister. Yeah. Um, and but that's the sort of mare he's entitled to. Um, yeah. He's done nothing wrong as a sire in both um, New Zealand and North America. Slow burn here. Um, look, even so much so, I bred a mare to him this year because I'm confident that you know um, he'll have a little presence here at some stage. Muscle Hill just keeps getting the job done, and that's—I mean—he's that sire line, so you've got that in your, up your sleeve a bit, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Look, there is that Muscle Hill's dominance down here has been, um, you know, long, and um, will obviously continue for a while. No, will it? Will, will indeed. Um, I haven't forgotten, and cannot forget, the king. Um, <laughs> couple of these colts when they were walking they're brutes yeah in they, this are. they are dead set brutes the um uh queen of pop the are new butte yep then you've got the, the ben injured who's not a brute he's just all race horse like he's just a cracking type of horse as well yeah, yeah. He? he's um there's four or five betters colts here that you know um i would say we've got four or five that will be in the hundred thousand dollar range um betters will continue his dominance um at these yearling sales as he has done for the last 10 or 15 years um, police report he's made a great recovery in Canada. Um, he'll be back in the shed at Windbank on uh, Monday morning our time, or sorry, Monday afternoon our time. I'm so, going to yeah. have to do something. Yeah, I thought he did that. There, now, now it won't move. I was been, I've been watching. I was like, I better help him out here. It was getting up under the nose. Is that better? Now it's yeah, not I need all the help I can get, mate. You know that. <laughs> now it's not annoying <laughs> that well. Obviously, we're just waiting on the best presented here. But I mean, great feeling, great vibe around about the sales. A very positive vibe, which is what the industry needs. Yeah, yeah. And look, there's a lot of, you know, you look at the racing in New Zealand last night. We got a slot race coming up in Perth next weekend. There's a good vibe. There's, you know, good horses. You know, people need to rally around the sport. We know that we're at a point in time where things aren't getting any easier. Um, but with the right sort of conviction and uh, the right sort of love and everybody giving each other some love and helping out, I think things can change. Yep, absolutely. And it's uh, exciting, I think. Got to look at the positive sides and the presentation, the time people take here. We saw Sally Burgess videoing her horse as it's walked around. A person that's been a part of this industry for so long. She doesn't care. She she so proud of the product she's able to put out there, and I think that's great to see. Yeah, yeah, well, that's what it's all about. You know, there are people entrenched in the sport that, regardless, they carry on. But I think those sort of people, you know, just out of respect, you know, people need to support them as well, and that's got to come from you know, our administrators as well. Um, it's one thing to be rusted on and keep going, but you do need that support from the outside. Yeah, and uh, well done HRV as well, because this is um, streamed live on Trots Vision, which is pretty exciting uh, for the Nutrient brand as well to take this parade. They're yep. taking the sale tomorrow as well, so thank you to those guys, because effectively, you know, this is the future. This is where it starts. We want people to buy. We want people to invest. We want people to take pride in what they do, yep. um, and that's what we're, we're padding out a little bit for, because we are doing them the best presented, and, um, and that's the same thing, the pride. So selling the horses, but also the people the, the people presenting them, watching their children going off and racing. It's, it's pretty important. Oh, it's important. We've got a world-class product that's actually evolved where our horses have got quicker and quicker as time has evolved, whereas the thoroughbreds have stood still in that regard. We're very reluctant to celebrate our greatness. Um, so I think we've got to, you know, promote that product as world-class, and that's what it is. Yeah, absolutely. We talked about better light there before. Fast approaching 2,400 individual individual winners in Australasia. Mm. That's not bad going, is it? Uh, it's a stunning result. Yeah, um. ten, 10 wins short. <laughs> I, I have to beat you on some stats every now and then. So uh, that probably changed last night and I didn't see it. But, yeah, that's just an amazing effort. Yeah, yeah, look, the King's, um, that's why he's the King. Um, yep. So, yeah, just uh, relentless presence as we know. 
we won't be far off. I can see um, everyone's going across here. Um, you've got some international guests with you that are here at the at the um, sales today, looking potentially looking at buying horses, which is great. Yeah, look, we've got some uh, people here from the Philippines. Um, uh, Nash and Sharon and um, Manny. Manny is a prodigious thoroughbred buyer. Um, has been uh, Magic Millions buyer. Was claiming horses um, in the States yesterday when we were on the phone um, going down to look at the lots they've purchased. Um, they bought a stallion. They bought four broodmares. They bought a yearling in um, APG. So these horses at some point will head to the Philippines in July or June or July. There's a, a lot of reconnaissance about this trip, um, but hoping to maybe purchase one or two tomorrow, and maybe, who knows, a weanling at New Zealand in May, yep. with a view to maybe growing, bring a couple, growing them out here in Australia and then sending them on to the Philippines. Which is exciting. We need more, we need more new frontiers. We have to have well, this is this is a brave new frontier because um, the racing is one-on-one, -on -one, 750 metres, and uh, it's based around um, religious festivals and all that sort of thing. So um, when the Spanish arrived in the Philippines over 500 years ago, so it's a, it's a really good story. But Manny's a person that, you know, you want to sit down and talk to. He's in the process now. They're 70% built a new racetrack in Manila, and um, the 30% for the completion will come um, by November, and they'll be opening a brand-new racetrack in um, Manila as well. Any in the Philippines. junket for you and I? Well, apparently I've made the guest list, so um, I'll see what I can arrange. Oh, don't forget <laughs> your mates. We're, we're, we're actually pretty excited too, because you, you and I are going to be going to the Vincent Delaney Memorial uh, very shortly in, uh, in England, and it's, that's exciting. Uh, it's, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a bit of fun. Yeah, yeah, no, um, yeah we'll be joining the Delaney brothers and, um, like, 14 nationalities from all over the world that are involved in harness racing. Massive race, race meeting. Uh, massive yeah. race meeting at Wolverhampton, so um, in the Midlands in England. Um, Derek, I've spoken to again this week, and uh, you know we're chucking our hat in the ring to sponsor a race up there. Um, looking forward to mate, we're flying to London in um, early August, you and I. So we'll be on the road together for about seven or ten days. So that'll be fun. It'll be character building for the pair, for the <laughs> pair of us. I know we're not far off. We've got two horses um, coming up at the minute. I, did, I happen to notice Craig Judd pulling the jacket off before. I haven't seen him do too much work today, but I reckon. I mean, there's some chance he's going to pop into a little photo here, knowing Juddy. He's, he's got to do a little bit of look at me. Jude's even looking at me. Oh, she's, okay. she's, okay. Jude's, going to, Jude's going to tell me off. She's going to say, I'm not allowed to pick on her son. Don't you worry about that. Oh, that's, <laughs> like, that's what mothers do, mate. They, they, tell <laughs> me, they tell me he might have nearly got pants last night playing pool. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, he, he uh, might have had a little bit of a... Um, sort of round up I suppose the, the little brother might have um, okay. taught him a thing or two apparently okay there so, you go uh, what have been a sight for sore eyes it would have been but that's I mean that's the thing yeah you have fun here at the sales um, and you enjoy it and that's what we want to do we want people to be able to come here and enjoy them um, and and be a part of it um, not sure how we're going out here. It is does become a little bit of unorganised chaos uh, towards, the end. Yep. towards the end. Here you we go. You and I are going to have to pad out. Johnny's got us off us. I don't know who we've got as anything, so I can't say pacing Colts. This is the runner-up. This is the winner. Don't know. <laughs> okay, so we've got two pacing Colts into the parade ring. Now they're going to throw me a real curveball. Um, two five eight is the better's delight out of R La Vitesse. Uh, what a family this is here! It's great that I've got Husey here with me um, going along. And and one ninety six. I don't know what his name is. Do you know his name at all, Mark? Would he be happen to be the Ben injured uh, better's delight colt uh, that's garnered a lot of attention? That's for sure. So I'm not sure. I come in and get told the two horses, but uh, it's pretty good. What I might do, I'll throw our camera guys under the bus. We'll go with the, the horse that way, Kayleen. Sorry, we'll go with this this horse here for starters. This is lot 196. Uh, this is the Ben Injured Colt. What a family, Hughes. It's just a prolific family of winners. Centenario, Sam Dan, Lightning Dan, Elisha J. Just a brilliant family, isn't it? Yeah, stunning um, time honored um, first damn family of, um, of Ben Studd, of course, by Better's Delight. Better's out of the art, ma out of the art major mare. The two most dominant strains in the Southern Hemisphere, Better's Delight and Art Major. Um, speaks to itself um, what a magnificent cult he is.
Um, and then the other horse here is a better to light out of Ala Vitesse. Um, again, another great family Ch changeover back in that family. Just a, a credit to them both. Yeah, look, they're both stunning colts. Um, Preeminent New Zealand family on uh, the Ala Vitesse, I believe. Harvey Kaplan might own this from memory. Um, I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, out of a well no, said man. Oh, okay. No, Benstart, don't worry. Marky. It's apologies. all about Marky. It's all about it's me. It's all about Mark. There you go. Um, great. He, he's an in-law, but I tell you, he doesn't fall far from the brother-in-law sometimes, yeah, yeah. does he? Great, eh? um, <laughs> it's okay. great family for our betters as well with one change out of that family. So, I did, yeah, as I said, I noticed, I noticed Craig Judd took the jacket off before. I haven't seen him do anything today, and he was going to come out and parade one of these for a bit more look at me, but his jacket had back up. <laughs> But uh, he's gone a bit shy. I don't know. So anyway, well done to the team from Ben Stud. They've done a great job paraded all of the horses. Um, and Marky's enjoying this, just going round and round until we uh, we were announced a winner. I don't know. I'm, I've just got to talk and pad. That's all I've got to do. So um, there's a lot of backwards and forwards happening here as we speak. Mark Barton might be able to come and help us and advise us as what's happening shortly. But um, um, we've got uh, some garlands to be announced. Camera guys, must say a huge well done to Johnny Power on the on the uh, panel, plus his wife Kayleen on one of the cameras, and Luke Ralph on the other camera. Huge thank you to you guys for helping me out. Um, I really appreciate it. Hopefully people have been able to sit at home and enjoy the coverage. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. But um, beautifully turned out Colts. But as I said, there's some cracking Colts full stop in the whole draft. There is um, <laughs> some very cracking Colts. And these are two... Um Colts that uh, their father would be very, very proud of. Nice. Um, and look, real buzz for us with Better's Delight returning in August to uh, be fully domiciled in the Southern Hemisphere. Mark Barton's so, yeah. coming out now. He's, um, he's going to... He's, no, you can take that one out there if you want to talk to the people. It'll be on when you ask for it. You want it on? Yep. Hang on. We've got to, got to do... No, it should be good now. Is it not working? Oh, OK. So thank you. You're on. You're on. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, just, yeah, won't be a moment. We've just got one more horse to come up. What we've found is, and the, uh, the judges have actually made the point that the, our presentation of these horses have been magnificent and they couldn't split two of the horses for equal runner-up. So they wanted one more horse to be recognised in these pacing colts as well. So if you just bear with us for one moment, we'll have them here and we'll announce your, uh, your winner and your two runners-up. So there will be uh, the high gain team, uh, my divide high gain team have uh, said that they want to make another... Uh, Rosette to recognise the three of them rather than the two and I said if that's how you want to do it you're the judge so it'll only be a moment and um, we'll get these uh, get these horses sashed and bring them through. No, we will. We will. We will in, you want to get Beck over and get her well, on? I was going to say, we could ask Beck to come over and get on the microphone and then she'd be like, no, I'll go quick. Oh, she's going to come over. Yeah, look out. She, oh, <laughs> that, we, that is, uh, no, she's not. Yes, she is. Mark Button, I'm not sure if she's going to or not. She's um, coming along here, just waiting on one more horse, I th think. <laughs> okay, the handler's here, but no horse, and she's not making as much noise as the last one. So uh, we're not sure exactly what's happening here. Beck, you might have a talk with Mark. Not sure exactly. Two runner-ups. Double runner-up. I don't know the number, though, Grant. Three, three, four, maybe. Beck, do we know if the, uh, the, uh, other, what, the other horse in question, please, the number? Could someone just bail me out a little bit? Two, five, four. This is working very, very well. Right, can I announce the winner, or you want to... I can announce a winner. Right. Well, congratulations to uh, the team from Benstad with uh, lot number 258. The better to light out of Alava Tess is our best presented colt. Quite interesting that Marky took that horse. I tell you, he likes this look at me. Don't you worry about that, Marky. But um, well done to the whole team. And we'll do a presentation um, out there. Craig Judd, could you come over, please, and jump on the microphone? You're a very shy person. So um, just a quick word for the team from Benstad while we're doing this presentation. Um, what was your number? <coughs> We're trying to find out. Just back the other runner-up, please. What number? Uh, 196, but Blanche was tied with... The other one? 334. 334. Three, four. Rightio. So we've got a tie. We've got a tie for... Um, 
Uh, sorry, second. What was it? Three, three, four. Three, three, four. Oh, of course, a slip, slop, slap, tall, dark stranger. So well done to uh, Blanche as well there. You're going to have to get the rosette put around you, you and, uh, and the garland, and then go from there. Um, rightio, we've just got to try Craig Judd while... Um, while this is going on, there's one of these things. I tried to get this organised last night, but it didn't work very, very well. Well done to the team from Benstow, mate. Congratulations. Yeah, mate. Thank you very much. Now, uh, this, these horses have actually been prepared at the Victorian Farm at Katunga and Trace and Mark and Mum and Dad and all the team, and they've just done a, a, an absolutely fan fantastic job. So, um, no, really, really pleased, mate, with the outcome and to get two into the final, um, into the top two is fantastic. They're really good. Absolutely, and turned out a treat. Um, and and two different horses in a way, the way they are. Like a, yep. the Ben Engines, a very racy uh, colt. We just had Mark Hughes on. I must say, well done. Thanks to Yuzi, he took off without me being able to say thank you. But uh, the team from Woodlands for their sponsorship, but great recognition for those guys as well. With two better's delights in that family, and then a son of better's delight yes. as well. Uh, been the sire of the other one. So congratulate. Good thrill though for the farm and for everyone involved, mate. Yeah, look, it's a, a, a great little pat in the back for the the team. They've done a fantastic job. I won't name them, but there's uh, you know young. Haley and Teddy, there's quite a few down Let's there. Haley walking the other bloke around too. Yeah, that's so, correct. Yep. And, um, and you know, they're working five, six, seven days a week, so they've done a fantastic job. Horses have turned out great, as you can see. And look at the looking pose yeah, for a photo. Yeah, he's 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 a very special horse, I think. Yeah, abs Paul. absolutely. You'll be excited about the sale tomorrow. Sorry, mate. Excited about the sale tomorrow. Yeah, I really am. Yeah, it's a fantastic catalogue. I walked around. Uh, walked around quite a few of the boxes and everyone's just turned the horses out fantastic and, and it's just absolutely beautiful colts. Uh, particularly, you know, I've seen some really nice colts in the last couple of days. So I think it'll be a really good sale. Yeah, no, it will indeed. And then also, um, I've got an issue there, but that's okay. We won't worry too much about that. Uh, yeah, the Ben Injured, he would have garnered a lot of attention, I'd imagine, so far. Yeah, look, uh, tomorrow I think he's going to have a pretty big day tomorrow, isn't he? So he's got... He's got I did make a comment on social media that he sort of had a thoroughbred sort of look and appearance about him, and oh, I might be a little biased, but I think he's as nice a type of standard bread as I've ever seen. You're very refined. Well, he's not as good as the winner. Uh, that's apparently what, but, not. But apparently we can <laughs> don't get into trouble for that. Mate, I'm going to let you go for a sec. I'm not sure if you're going to come back. I'm going to get Blanche pull very, very quickly to Blanche. Blanche, excuse me, Blanche. Could you come and have a quick chat to me? I know you don't want to. I'll ask Johnny not to put you on camera, but um, uh, I've got to do these now. But um, congratulations, firstly, on your presentation of all your horses. Um, well done for that. And congratulations being equal runner-up with uh, your tall, dark stranger out of Slip Slop Slap. Beautiful family and beautifully presented. You're he's on now. Oh, yeah. good. No, he's, a, he's a lovely colt. We, we've fallen in love with him right from birth. and yeah. a Nice thrill, though, too, wasn't it, to yeah. have him come through and yeah, um, yeah, and, yeah. and the way he was presented. So yeah. It's no, good. And look, we've got a bit, you know, I've got to congratulate the two girls that have been helping me today down at the barn and my husband. Uh, they've been doing all the work getting them ready for I me to get Dean up. Was, I didn't know if <laughs> Dean was here. I was going to say it, and yeah. I thought, well, he might not have come, so I just thought I'll leave Dean alone. But, yeah, uh, yeah no, he was, um, he was awesome. So congratulations. Yeah. Well done. Well done on the whole draft. Didn't you have some little chatty colts? They were yeah, very, very chatty yeah, when they, they came in. They were, they, yeah. they wanted Missing to speak. Missing all their friends. <laughs> what it was. Yeah. They were very, very funny. But no, congratulations and, and okay. very well done to you. Great, thank you very much. Now we have Blanche uh, Poole, who's going to lead me. Um, which means I've got to talk by myself, which I can do do that a little bit. Mark Button might be able to help me out for a minute or not. I'm not sure. Uh, yep, we'll go from from there um, as we just get some photos and um, and that. We might um, go from there. Meow Mark, do you know the... Uh, all right, you do know this. Have a look at this. So this is the filly. So I can get two of these. They're going to parade around as well. Yep, you're, you're right. Yeah, we're back on air. That's good. No, I thank you to all these preparers. I know we were up a little bit of extra effort, but one thing about it, there's a lot of people at home. I know we've got a fair few people watching on, um, on your live feed, and it is important that we recognise the effort of all these, um, these preparers and the stables where they come from. It's a um, great effort. And again, thank you to... All of the people who helped sponsor the, uh, this event to, to, uh, to happen. Uh, the team at Woodlands, also the, uh, the team at High Gain, Better Vet. It's a, uh, a team effort. We might just try and get the photos maybe taken outside if we could. Um, Gemma, well, yeah, we'll just... can we perhaps get the photos outside so we can get the next lot of horses through, please? Um, we've just got the fillies um, going here. They're all waiting outside, so... Um, I don't think this will work because it's going to have you and I behind it in this photo, Bardo. But um, anyway, <laughs> we'll, uh, 
go go from there. We might try and get we might try and get the Phillies photos taken outside, maybe with a bit of sunlight. So go from there as Gemma's trying to get them going, but that's okay. Lots. So the two Phillies we're yeah, going so with we've here. Got, we've got lots two thirty nine. And 250 of the two fillies that are in. So the first one, in, first one in for our camera guys. We'll catch on to that with Stacey Towers from Bowman Bo Park. Well done to Stacey. She's been here before in this in the final two. So well done there. This is a Captain Crunch header. Got to get away. Got to go get Gotta away, go. get I should away, say. Yeah. For KTC Bloodstock, for Kevin Charles and that from Western Australia. Beautiful filly. Very, very racy filly. Um, and then the other horse is lot 250. This is the Art Major out of the Max 3 mare in her memory for Dennis Howe. Again, the Howes, haven't they been here before had, too? Had a uh, had the uh, best presenter Colt in Sydney only yep. a couple of weeks ago too, mate. And most importantly here, this one does have that update with our ultimate Jesse. Um, was uh, was the other uh, had that uh, the second in the Bathurst Gold Tiara too. So we've uh, we've got the other uh, family's been very current and. It's our pleasure to award the winner of the, um, the uh, 2024 pacing. Philly will go to uh, lot number 250, which is on account of Dennis and Joe Howe. Congratulations and to Emma. We'll, uh, she'll be very, very happy. I'm sure Dad will be happy with the camera. He'll be a proud dad. Over he hasn't got the camera out yet, but he's going to. But well and, done, uh, Dennis. And our, and, um, our run runner-up will be yeah, Stacey's... Um, Stacey Tao. She's honest, been a runner-up before as well, and she's given me the smirk, but she's used to that. We'll try and get the garland on, but we might get see if we can't get a couple of photos out because we've still got a couple others to to do as well. Dennis, you want to come over and have a chat? You, uh, no, it won't work, but we'll get Dennis in I'll here. I'll in get here. you to... Yeah, we'll do that. That'll be a lot easier. So, Dennis, if you want to come in here, mate, and we'll... we'll, we'll don't, don't. Oh, you want to get a photo too, don't you? So we'll go from there. <laughs> don't know what Mark just, Mark just said. You can hang on to it. That way might be easier than clipping over your head, but congratulations, mate. Um, for the recognition again, uh, but beautifully turned out. Philly, you must be so proud. Yeah, she um, she sort of crept up on us this filly a little bit. She um, but she in the end she turned out really well, and uh, we're extremely ex excited that she uh, she won it. It's it's good for the girls because they put a lot of work in. They really do. Yep, Em sitting there, she's smiling away as she can, and Jess is just as eagerly watching. She's like, I don't reckon they're going to get this garland on. I reckon Jess is back, and it's not going to happen. They might just hold it. Yeah. Just jump in the photo and hold the garland, maybe, and um, we'll go <laughs> go from there. But um, I think it's this is great. It is great for so many people. Probably doesn't mean as much for yourself being an old hand at the game, but uh, it does for a lot of us. You go. I yeah. know what you want to do. You go give the girls a hand just with it so they can get the presentation on. They're right. They're right. They've got it. Nope. Yeah, and go from there. So she's uh, a little bit flighty. Beautifully turned out, Philly. Lovely type of horse, though, isn't she? Yeah, she's strong. She's a tough girl. Yeah, she just loves her work. Um, the, the full sister that comes second in the tiara a couple of weeks ago, she's exactly the same build as this Philly. You'd swear they were two peas out of a pod. Um, and she's tough, the other one. Yep. So, yep, absolutely. I wish we had a camera behind this horse watching what the lady that's been doing a great job picking up all the pool around the yard. So the way she was swinging her hands there, Sam, were just outstanding. Um, and I think we're going to quickly get a photo with the second horse as well. Right well done to Kevin Charles. Thanks, thank you very much. No, thank you. It. Thank you very much. Um, well done to Kevin Charles um, and Anne as well with the... Uh, the uh, lot 239. This is a Captain Crunch header. Got to go get away. Beautifully turned out Philly. Stacey takes a lot of pride as I said she was here last year. Uh, the colt that she had last year has actually already won two and three races so he's done an awesome job. Um, there, that is lot number 239. The Captain Crunch got to go get away and um, yeah, congratulations to everyone. Uh, Jim, I reckon you might have been in the back part of that photo just then and you didn't realise <laughs> Oh, we're photo bombing. We're all photo bombing, so it's a, it, it, it's okay. So, uh, but yep, thank you very much to High Gain and Better Vet and also Woodlands for uh, sponsoring this parade and making it worthwhile. We might, if we could quickly get a photo with the runner-up, um, very very quickly get a photo, please, um, and then we will come through with the uh, the trotters. I would imagine is what this looks like. It's going to do. And we've also got a team one. So, um, Mark, we might try and keep it rolling a bit because we've got a few more to get through if we can. We'll get the next lot of horses coming in. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to be. We might have to try and get a couple of photos out the back um, and go from there. But well done, Stacey. Um, next ones we're going to go through are the trotting colts. Um, 
I'll hold that one up there. Work at that one, yeah, you do that. Uh, one, that'll two. be fine. Trotting Colts are our next ones here. We've got yep. lot 245 um, and 296 So the next two. Yep, to come 245 through. and 296, Paul. Um, I'm getting there. Just, uh, I had everything sorted out. I should have opened my book up with me cheat notes. It worked beautifully. Right out, this is the Love You. This is um, for Ben Stud Sandabres. The Love You Colt out of I Choose is one of these horses. And it looks like they're both Ben Stud horses actually here. Yep, come on, we'll get the next ones through, please, because people are sitting at home waiting to see these here as well. 296 is the other it's horse. A, that's a Tomoko, mate. That oh, the Tomoko, the chestnut Tomoko. Yes, it is. So, uh, congratulations to Ben Sud Standard as well. This is the, uh, I've got one page too many, two pages too many. This is the Ben Sud, the Tomoko out of Al Sunny Rose. Uh, yeah, lovely Philly, love a chili, a chestnut Philly. Try and say the chili's chili, 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 chili. Uh, yeah, for being such an haven't they? Had a uh, day well done for the recognition. I, I, I think to uh, to keep things ro rolling, mate. The uh, the winner this year will be uh, two forty five. So it'll be the lot two forty five, and the uh, Tomoko will be a runner up. So that is uh, the, Colt. the love you out of I choose. Great family goes back to that cheese and image family, and um, you go back in there and Marshall and Bodo. I, I'm more than happy to to talk about them. Well done to everyone there, and and. Craig said before about um, too many people to mention and all the rest, but Teddy there, unsung hero out the back, does a lot of the dirty work while things are going on. So well done to you. And it's good to see Craig come over and give you a pat on the back. It's the first one you've had, Teddy. It's a, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take all the knives out. You've got a pat for once. It's all good. So well done there and uh, congratulations. And uh, Trace is trying to hide over there behind Beck. So oh, don't pick on her, but well done, Trace. Well done to everyone. Um, the uh, matriarch and uh, the king, if you like, of Ben Studies sitting over there, PJ. I reckon he'd be pretty happy about this for an occasion too. So a lot of hard work, a lot of recognition for all of the guys. We're going to go two for one by the looks to try and make this one a bit quicker. So this is the, um, the Ben Stud team here. So this is uh, lots 240. Five and 296. 296 is a little chestnut. He is the runner up though. We'll try and get a photo with both of those coming through as well. So that'll be the last two to um, present. You really got to be able to see what goes on behind the scenes. I don't know if Johnny can get a camera on it. The lady over the back. It's very, you have to get Kayleen to see if she can uh, get, get her going. It's quite funny what happens in there behind the, oh, behind the scenes. But congratulations to everyone with their presentation of their trotters. Um, and yeah, 245, 296 for Ben Stud, Standard Breads, uh, the two leading presented horses. Rightio, um, we're going to have the Phillies come in. And um, thank you very much. We'll get the Colts to leave if we can. And the two lots of Phillies to come in here. We've got lot 162. Uh, for Louise, pa Louise Pangrazio, for the guys at Staffordshire Farms, yeah. we're going to say Neville, well done to Neville. This is um, the Yankee Princess. Hang on, you're not on. There you're on. Yep. The important part here is right early in the uh, in the day. It's so, like number one. Yeah, that's yeah, what like, I mean. like number so, one. Uh, judges recognise this filly right from the start and really loved it. So. Yep, and then also 244 for Alabar Farms. Well, oh, this will be a tough choice, that's for sure. This is the Elite Strike out of the Illawong Helios. This is me Derby horse. This is a buy a Derby winner out of a Derby winner. So if we can get these guys to come in, um, that'll be terrific. I'd, tough job being a judge, Bardo. Oh, tough job. But again, hats off again. You've got a lot of these, uh, not just our biggest stables, but the Pengrazio family, they do all the work themselves. Um, I know that uh, you know, they, they take a lot of pride in their horses. And, and again, the Alabar team, it's a big draft of horses. But uh, congratulations. The standard we set, I think, genetically in Australia, as well as the way we present them, we talk about yearlings. It's probably the best they'll ever look in their life is when they come through this sale ring. But um, congratulations. I know we've got uh, feed companies that are supporting us too, but... The, the prep that they get, the uh, the nutrition that they get, and the work that they get in being racehorses later on is fantastic. So it's our pleasure this year. Our winner will be Lot 162 on account of the Pangrazio family, and the runner-up will be the Alavar um, Lot 244. Con so. Congratulations to Louise. She's uh, out the back there, but well done, Neville, as well. Beautifully presented filly this. The Pastor Stevens first season sire, standing at Lower Long Farms. Uh, second season fire actually he is I shouldn't say that because he's had a couple racing this year already it's like 162 out of the champ champion me Yankee princess of course this horse is a half sister to Prince of Rock who won the three year old uh, division of the, the classic last year and then congratulations also to Alabar with the elite stride and how well they were presented today as well um, out of the 
uh, champion filly yourself, Illuwong Helios. So well done to those guys now, as well. One other important one for the uh, the the, uh, the team at High Gain. Um, did also want to recognise some of the actual complete drafts, the studs that have, all the people that have prepared entire drafts. They will get $500 worth of product uh, and just come and see the uh, the girls and they'll be able to work it out. But they actually said that we want, well, they wanted to acknowledge four different uh, stables for the effort that they've done preparing those. They will be uh, Rhiannon, so uh, Rhiannon Blanche, Park, yeah, Blanche, Rhiannon yep. Park Dan, uh, Dean and Blanche's uh, stable. They'll come and see the high gain team. Uh, also uh, Galthorn. Uh, just sort of going for one of the uh, the family smaller drafts, a really well presented uh, draft. Durham Park, yep. Uh, again, a team that have done it in Ballarat in that climate, and they've turned in a lovely draft. And uh, Lower Long Farm. So the four of those studs have been recognised. Or those teams have been recognised by the uh, the girls at High Gain for doing a magnificent job, and they'll each receive five hundred dollars worth of product. I'm going to do one thing to you because we're going to do a sign off so you can come back on camera. So come back over here next to me. Yeah, so that, that which I think was something that wasn't actually originally planned for by the, the team at High Gain. So thank you very much uh, for their efforts and, um, and coming up with effectively another couple of thousand dollars worth of product to, uh, to recognise and, um, and uh, reward those studs. Rightio, um, we'll draw to a close. Um, I think we've uh, got the camera up there on us and now. And, um, uh, Great parade. Well done to everyone, Mark. Yep. Big day tomorrow, though. 11 a.m. We want to make sure everyone's aware. Lot 162 goes under the hammer at 11 a.m. starting yep. off. Well, 162 is going to be one of your uh, best presented. And yep. it's also a half to a winner from last year's race series. Uh, take the chance before we start selling horses tomorrow to wish all of the connections all the best for next weekend for the uh, the finals at Melton. Uh, $1.25 million plus uh, the, um, the, uh, the heat. So it's nearly $1.4 million worth of prize money that the horses this year run for. Uh, we we love the race series, but tomorrow's your chance. Uh, we understand, you know, it hasn't been easy in Victoria the last 12 months, but it's uh, there's some magnificent horse flesh. We just saw on a world stage just how impressive the Australian trotter is and the genetics in the trotting gate uh, here in Australia. Uh, one, two, three, and four in that uh, in that slot yesterday in New Zealand. And you've got some wonderful pacing genetics, you know, world-class genetics. So it's a privilege to stand over them. Congratulations to uh, the Nutrient team that helped make this happen in the background. And I uh, wish everyone every success with your purchases for the vendors. Uh, congratulations on the effort. We appreciate your support, the Nutrient team. And I look forward to having a great day tomorrow. Thank you very much, Mark Barton. We'll sign off now. And um, we'll be back bright and early. Tune in 11 a.m. for the live feed on Trots Vision. Thank you very much to HRV as well for taking yeah, that and, and, and doing that. And great tune supporters. in tomorrow from 11 a.m. Um, going straight through. So thank you. And uh, we'll be back uh, yeah, tomorrow, 11 a.m. Sounds good.